By nap time spray, we mean Booyaka, 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 619. Yeah. Put them little kids down. Because that's what we do. Was it a, uh, wasn't it like a trick back in the day just to give them like a hint of like alcohol? Hell yeah. That's why. To, to get them why, do you think, why do you think Gen X for, is full of fucking alcoholics? <laughs> <laughs> for teething. Yeah. Oh, for teething. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of whiskey for yeah. teething. Okay. Yeah. Teething. <laughs> <laughs> teething. Jesus they must have fucking gave me a shit ton of Coors Light for my teething. Then. <laughs> you remember? I don't know if it's true, but like you remember, like back in the gap, like if you were, like if you were drinking a bunch of soda as a kid, and you're like, I don't fucking rot your your new teeth when they come out. But either way, but like when you when they're kids, they, all little kids have fucked up teeth, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So I just say let them drink it. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Who Might cares? as well ruin them. Cause they're gonna come they're gonna back in anyway. anyway. Yeah. 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 No, dude. I think it's interesting that if you see like a skull of a kid, like the teeth, how they look, it looks fucking weird, dude. Yeah. All skulls look weird. No, but I mean, like with kids though, because you see like your in, the your your adult, adult teeth. teeth. Oh, like, that, right on yeah. top of it. Oh yeah. And it's like what? Well, the that's fuck? weird. I never yeah, thought about that. It looks that. scary, dude. Like when you when you see like X rays, you just see like their teeth, and then you see the the adult the adult the, teeth like right the, up here. Mm. God damn, I never thought about that. Yeah, but then again, I also don't Google kid skulls and shit. <laughs> well, it, it popped up in on uh, TikTok on your search so. history. Yeah, yeah, I've seen I've seen it in memes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like you know the creepy stuff, right? So. When they're doing creepy like stories, well, not creepy stories, but creepy little images, and you're like, yeah. "Guess what that is?" You're like, "I don't know what is it." It's a child's skull. skull. You're just like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, that's scary. But hey, I mean, all that creepy shit has advanced us technologically. So yeah, lying. Yeah, I mean, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah I mean, mean. with my gap. <laughs> Welcome to shit, shit. Welcome to Shoot the Shit with Zeke, Arizona Bar, Brian. It's your boy Zeke, a.k.a. Biggie Daddy from Cincinnati, a.k.a. New Tea for this, a.k.a. Vachon. I always forget the last one. <laughs> it's Israel, a.k.a. The Quiet Right, a.k.a. The Rag. Yeah, boy. Yeah. It's Brian, a.k.a. AKA Be Easy, a.k.a. Stacking Bodies, a.k.a. You, bodies a- on Top of Bodies, a.k.a. Lil Hitty, a.k.a. A Home Record. Did you write AKA- it down? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was shit. Like, oh, shit, son. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. Brian went back and found the fucking list. For real, dude. It he just starts, popped into he just my starts head coming earlier. In, he starts coming in with a, a whole scroll and shit. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Bodies on top of bodies. A.K.A. Beasy, say it with it. You, 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 you want to see a dead body? Hey. Hell yeah. Dude, that should be your opener for like everything. Just Wait. saying hi to people you want to see a dead body? It's got to be a sound clip that he has on his shirt that just says, like, press me. You want to see a dead body? They're like, what the fuck? You're hired. <laughs> God damn. Like, Jesus. Dear heavens, sweet Lord. How dare he? How dare you? How dare he? No, he, he should do that with openers for, like, women. You know, when he's trying to, get like, pull game. Nah. You want to see a dead body? We want him to, we want him to find someone. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we want him to find someone. Does he want to find someone? Who fucking knows? But we oh, do. You know, <laughs> we think he needs to. Because how how it, long has it been since I dated? I don't know. Was it like too since, long since the pandemic? Yeah, since two thousand one. <laughs> two thousand one. I mean, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. No, it's been longer than that, hasn't it? No, I could have sworn that's when it was in y'all broke up. Yeah, it's been. About two years. Two years, yeah. It was, 20, it was during the pandemic. Oh, they broke up during 2020? I yeah. thought it was... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you and you and Josh did what everybody, everybody did during the pandemic. Y'all got a puppy and then got rid of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Yeah. So wait, how long have we been actually doing this? 20, started 2018, 19, 21, 22. So four years? Yeah. God damn. It's been a while. For real. Can't believe it. Yeah. No, dude, I can't believe 
like I started listening in the first beginning episodes and I'm like, where's Brian? I was like, oh shit, he wasn't here. Was like, Where's those, Brian? Episodes? those episodes were way better. <laughs> we're, we're, we were pretty ruthless. We were pretty trash those first episodes, though. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. There's some episodes that were pretty good. They had funny moments and shit, yeah. but yeah. I don't know. I I mean, I definitely, definitely glad we, we, you know, we climbed that mountain. Oh, yeah. Of For sure. Assness. E- of assness, son. It was so bad that I'm just like, you know what? We should burn these. So you didn't want to fucking talk. <laughs> yeah. Fucking quiet ass cunt. <laughs> yeah. I didn't bloom, all right? He was like, eh, 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 eh. all he would do was laugh and shit. I was like, this is fucking quiet cunt. Yeah. That's all good, though. You bloomed. You bloomed into the rag. Yeah. Oh, and oh, you forgot Tan Hide. Oh, Tan Hide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Tan, get him a shirt that says, I am the Tan Hide. How? <laughs> I'm Tan Hide. But you do this, but, but you do the Star Trek shit. <laughs> I am Tan Hide. Fuck yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Wear my poncho. Billy. <laughs> I forgot you wore a fucking poncho. Yeah. Wear my poncho and be like, How? Oh, I'm Tan Hide. <laughs> Bro, I bet you won't. I bet you won't wear that whole around fucking come June, July. <laughs> that shit. Hell no. Nah. Fucker, have a heat what? stroke. Mm-hmm. But was that a poncho? Yeah, that was a poncho. Oh, that big ass fucking woolly mammoth he had on his back. Yeah. Wait, what? What's a serape? Fuck if I Sarape? know. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. I gotta look it up. I think it's a. It's like s- s- a type of poncho, but it's not like all the way. It's like one side. Mm. Um, I never, I never even seen that shit. All I know is Israel is the tan hide. <laughs> the tan hide. <laughs> His weapon of choice: a broken beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> it's got to be a Modelo. <laughs> oh shit! Hell yeah! The tan. or Corona? Because <laughs> it's always or. Corona time, fool. Yeah, but whichever one it is, it's got to be dangerous. <laughs> You're like, have you ever seen that movie, The Gray? The Gray? No. With uh Liam Neeson, that piece of shit. Uh. Like I, I don't like him because he ruins every movie, but in that movie, like towards the end, like it's about wolves, like gray wolves. Okay. And uh they're like doing whatever they can to survive and shit. And like towards the end, spoiler alert in three, two, one. If you haven't seen it, it came out in like two thousand thirteen, fuck off. Uh or maybe even earlier than that. Uh like he gets like a bunch of the little travel size uh whiskey bottles and shit. And he like breaks them and he puts them in, in between his knuckles like Wolverine and shit. Hell yeah! <laughs> I was like, that could be Israel, the tan high, <laughs> <The> tan high. <laughs> make a fucking drunk superhero. Hell yeah, <laughs> the tan high trailer park Wolverine. Hell yes. yeah! <laughs> Fuck it, that'd be fucking fly, son. Because <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Randy from uh Trailer Park Boys, whatever. Oh shit! Calling everyone shit hawks. <laughs> 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 Suck me up. <laughs> This will this will James he's talking about, man, I gotta come to y'all's podcast. When do y'all record? I'm like, we're recording tonight. He's like, damn, do you have to do it every Sunday night? I was like, I mean, we could try to do it on a Saturday, but I mean Yeah. I, I mean, what whatever works, motherfucker. I mean Just let us know. Let us know, you queef. Yeah. Who? James, dude, I uh I used to ride with that work, that uh, crazy motherfucker. The one who almost right. crashed when I told him I'd suck him off. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Queef. Chief Queef. Because we know so many Goddamn James. Oh yeah, Ooh. we do. I'm oh yeah. Like, Forgot. We gotta have the other James back on too. Yeah. That truck. I wonder how he's doing. For real. A truck driving some bitch. Hey. Well, I mean, I got him on Facebook. So I mean I guess he's doing all right. Has he has he said anything? I haven't even uh he mostly just posts posts memes know, and shit. Memes and yeah. you know, hating liberals, which I would probably do, but I don't post on Facebook oh, either. Yeah. So yeah, I'm about to start. I'm I'm just gonna like build a character, like make a character for Facebook. That's like super liberal, like anti BLM <laughs> and everything. And not super liberal, super uh conservative Republican oh, okay. and shit. And just like go hard on the motherfuckers. It's like anti BLM, <laughs> Blue Lives Matter, all kind of shit. Hell yeah! And then, and then like the next year, be super liberal. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Just a fucking. No, you should do like two two pages, uh, one that's super uh, liberal super, and then liberal one super, and super, conservative. super conservative. Dude, that'd be great. Like you're basically like black Twitter but political. <laughs> black Twitter. 
Now, I say keep it to one page, but you got to flip like yeah, every yeah, month. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so, shit. So, so it's okay. like, like he's like some sort of like fucking. Uh, Ooh, like I, call it like red versus blue. No, 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 no. I don't want anybody to know that. Like it'll okay. just be like one month I'm liberal, one month I'm conservative. And so just, everyone's like, man, this guy has like multiple personalities or something. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Right. You're going to be that guy from uh, that one movie. Man, what's it? The, oh, man. Split. I, yeah, Split. There you go. Yeah. You did a really good job in that movie. Oh yeah, I want to see. I want to see how people react to that shit. When I like one day I wake up and I'm just like posting pictures of me in a MAGA hat. They're like, "What the fuck?" And then the next day I'm like, "Biden saved my life" or something. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the day that Biden saved my life, that's when I changed. That's when I knew. <laughs> and then we're we the next day wear a shirt that says like Biden pissed me off, so now I'm conservative or some shit. <laughs> Just flip flop it around. Yeah, damn. Super uh what is it? Uh uh Mayweather and <laughs> shit. YOLO. Do it. Fuck it. YOLO. Oh dude. What's up? Speaking of fucking uh Biden, dude, are we really going to war with Russia? Maybe. Dude. This is the end. If they if they invade Ukraine, then yeah. I don't know, because I've been hearing different things. Like I've been hearing a lot more of the no than yes. Cause uh from the people from Ukraine, they're all like, "Yeah, we see them, but they're not like they're there." And then our news like oversaturates a lot of yeah. things. Oh yeah, yeah, scare then, tactics. Yeah, yeah. And then the Russian like side, they're all like, "Well, we might." It's more of like, "Yeah, we don't know, but we, I think we might." But you know, I so I don't know, man. As far back as I can recall, has a Democrat ever sent troops to war? I don't know, because the last time it was, what, Bush, right? Yeah. And then he had multiple presidents run through that. Right. And then before that, we were... Before I don't, Bush? I don't know, like, every single war, but, like, I right. know, like... I know we were in, like, uh, uh, uh... Where the fuck was it? Why can't I think of it? Somalia and shit like that, and, like, uh... what, what What's his name? The, the crazy motherfucker. Saddam. Oh. Who's president? Because that was, like... 80s oh that uh, might have been i think uh, that was uh was that senior oh okay. senior senior republican yeah i don't i bet dude if if he sends troops to war what was ronald reagan he was, he, he was a republican, republican for sure okay. yeah yeah i want to say Maybe. It, we should, it's we should been, google that i, I don't <laughs> yeah uh yeah because i'm thinking like uh vietnam war that was nixon yeah that was that, nixon. yeah that was nixon because i mean like if we do go to war, I don't think obviously Brian's not gonna get drafted. You're not gonna get drafted. I might get drafted. No, you won't. I'll say you got diabetes. Uh what uh <laughs> who who am I Googling again? What was it? Uh if any uh no, president but Vietnam War. Nick was it? Nixon, Nixon Main Republican. Uh, yeah. was, was that Nixon? Oh, I don't know. But uh, I think I, I, I think uh, Nixon was fucking Republican. Republican Party, yeah. Yeah. Reagan. For sure. Wait, well, he might wait, been, but wait, what? what? He would have came in and during Vietnam, but so he wasn't. He wasn't even like the cause of it, was he? Uh, he oh wait, see it, now I gotta I gotta Google shit because now I, I'm trying to remember like when these wars were and like because like Vietnam was like 60s. Yeah, it started six, in the 60s. So who was, 60s, like late 60s. Yeah, maybe 65. I think I think it may have started in 65 the year my parents were born. Hmm. I don't even know who the fucking president was in. Was it Lyndon, Lyndon B. Johnson? Oh, I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. We're too dumb to be having these this conversations. Like, I didn't even know. Bush. Vietnam War, 55 to 75. 55? Yeah. Holy bags. God <laughs> damn. That, that was before my mom. Fuck. Korean War, 50 to 53. Hmm, not bad. All right, so who's, who? Yeah, who's president during those terms? All right, so and then uh, 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 what was Teddy? Oh, he was Republican. So, so I mean, just based off what we know, most wars were I'm not gonna say started, but like most Republicans sent troops. Right, dude, it, it, that'd be nuts if Biden was like the first one to send troops. First, I dim. Don't know. Yeah, that he'll pussyfoot around until right. he loses 
And then a Republican jump, <laughs> Trump's like, "Fuck it, fuck Send it, everyone." <laughs> nah, he he would have done something by now. Dude, he he would, yeah, he would. Trump will decimate the population in this country. Oh yeah, decimate <laughs> to win to beat Russia, which we won't do. Oh yeah, uh, I I think what's going on. I feel like it's a Cold War Part Two situation. What was that like a fifty year long war or some shit? It wasn't a war. It was just like someone who's like basically measuring dicks. Like, yeah, who's gonna the Cold do War? It? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but it was like fifty years it, long, right, or something. Yeah, shit. it was pretty much just a standoff. Yeah, yeah. Where they're like pretty much just like if he pushes the button, we're pushing the button. Yeah, basically. I feel like that's what's kind of going on, but we'll see. Because I mean, that's the fucking, end. Who, who knows? It's know? a goddamn Mexican standoff. That's all. <laughs> <it was. laughs> a Mexican standoff between America and uh, Russia. I just know when the draft starts, shit, them ladies are coming with us. Oh, yeah, no, they're already <laughs> dipping out. They're already yeah, like, no. nah, I don't believe in equal rights anymore. <laughs> Fuck that. Give me, give I'm me half pregnant. pay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to the house. Give me I half was like, bitch. <laughs> One bitch said, uh, she said, give me half pay and backhands. And I'm <laughs> yeah. I was like, Fuck yeah. <laughs> Goddamn oh. right. Trump 2024. <laughs> knocking bitches out left and right. Hell yeah, dude. Once dude, when I first heard that, I was like, hell yeah. Now, like with with the whole war thing like possibly happening, women are just like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking clean the house. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna have kids. I'm gonna do this. I'm not going to war. I was like, oh shit. Now you see what it means. <laughs> I think they should implement some type of program where they look at the lady and she looks like her baby's gonna be retarded. Now you're good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna be missing out on much anyway. Right. <laughs> Come on, dude. We're gonna be throwing your pregnant ass out of plane, motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> oh shit. Holy shit. Have you ever heard of uh there's a dish that they eat in Russia that apparently is like one of the grossest things to eat. Really? Called like holodets or something like that. It's basically like liquid jelly meat. It the looks fuck? fucking nasty. Is it like Oh, are you talking patties? about um holodets? Aspic? No, holidays. Aspic. Aspic. Yeah, that, that might be the, the term we use over here, aspic. Hmm. No. Because it's pretty much it's pretty much like uh like jellied fat, basically. Okay. Um Cause that that's what I think. It's jelly fat because yeah. the cold and the fat, you know. So, I don't know. Holodets is essentially a meat jelly made by cooking pork parts that contain a lot of bone, skin, and cartilage, such as legs, ears, and even hooves. This dish, dish's name's holodets is from the Russian word holod, means cold. It is because the final preparation step is to cool in a refrigerator for a few hours. Yeah. Mm. Sounds fucking nasty. Makes sense. Well, how do you get jello? I don't give a fuck. It ain't meat. You fucking, you get it from bones <laughs> pork, and shit. Yeah. You get it from the pork. So basically, they're making Not their my own America. Style. We don't. <laughs> they're basically yeah. making their own home style of uh, of jelly. They're making a, a like a demonic jello. I guess pretty much. Yeah, it's fucking made out of like hooves and shit. Ugh. That's how you make jelly, right? No, that's but how you make jello. No, yeah, but what I'm saying jelly. is like, yeah, oh, but, yeah, jello. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, but it tastes like fucking lemon lime. Not hooves. Like <laughs> apparently, it fucking tastes like hooves and shit. Oh, so it tastes like it like tastes like meat. W- it, yeah, like uh, how a we- meat a meat gelatin instead of a fruit gelatin. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And a meat Ugh. gelatin does not sound good. It doesn't. That sounds like I prefer. I will agree because I don't like cold meat. Yeah, unless it's you know cold cuts. Right. But yeah. Hell no. You know we can get a balut in like Sam's Club. A what? Gross. That is fucking disgusting. Balut. What's the, that? The one that where the egg is like you you open it and you see like the fucking like dead baby in there and shit. Why? I don't know. Apparently Sam's Club has them. What the fuck? Like it's it, something you can make dishes out of it? Uh it is the dish. That is the dish. They'll just crack it open and eat it. Oh hell yeah, no. Yeah, I think the same fucking thing. It's mostly I want to say over in like Asian countries. <laughs> Yeah, it's like really big in the Philippines. Like it's yeah. like a, considered a delicacy in the Philippines. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, that's nasty. Oh hell no! Uh-uh. What I'm saying is, y'all trying to go down or what? <laughs> Fuck hell no. no, dude. If I brought Are it you in down? here, I mean, if everyone tries it, I'll eat. I'll eat it. Hell no. Uh-uh. Okay, how about this? Let's do the smelling salts. Smelling salts? Yeah. What's that? You crack them open, and, and it's like basically it's what they use whenever uh, back in the day when NFL players or any uh, sports 
athlete got laid out, yeah. it would hit them with the smelling salt and it wakes you the fuck up. Oh, shit. Yeah. And like nowadays, apparently they use them for like uh, power lifting and shit. Hmm. So they'll like crack a smelling salt and they're like, ah, fuck, that's gross. And then they fucking just hit like 700 pounds. Let's 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 give these uh power salts. I mean uh uh bath salts or not bath salts. <laughs> bath smelling smelling salts. salts. I'm smelling down for bath salts too. <laughs> let's, smell, let's, let's give the smelling Fuck salts yeah. a shot. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I've never done bath salts like that, but I did put bath salts <laughs> in the, the bath. Fu- okay. I put bath salts in the bath and shit was kind of nice. Yeah. I've never I've never even I haven't taken a bath. Is since it those my balls uh, big ass fucking balls those that you just put bombs. in there? No, oh, okay. no, it was like a little packet. Okay. So. It was like all, you know. It was know. like Epsom salt pretty much? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And it had like some like aromatics and shit Yeah, that, in it. that's really good for you. Yeah. yeah. But no, the bath bombs don't do anything. They're literally oh, okay. just scented soap balls, really. Yeah, mm. just scented soap. Yeah. Got to get like the stuff with like the Epsom salt. Right. So. Yeah. So you can feel good. Yeah. Because yeah. you're fucking chilling there nice and hot. You're fucking relaxing. I used and to like fall asleep baths. and fall uh, under the water, yeah. drown. Right. Hell yeah. So Hannah Baker style song. The he line. <laughs> Thirteen reasons why. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said the fucking thing. I was like, suicide is badass. <laughs> but no, I was I was doing that whenever I was having my issues. So because mm. it's just you know the hot water kind of relaxed. Oh and yeah, and everything. So until it stopped working. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting some smelling salts. I'm gonna go ahead and order some. And right now? Up. Why not? How much are they? Like twenty bucks. For how many? For like ten. Well, I can you, see that. Well, I mean, yeah, like you you want to do multiple. I guarantee you <laughs> after the first one, we'll never open them. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. no. Unless we have guests on that we make them. It's like a ritual thing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because Ethan's coming on, so we gotta get him to hit a fucking smelling salt <laughs> or a bath salt. I don't care. Whichever salt it is he wants to hit. I'm trying to remember what we use. <laughs> For what? It was uh for uh getting fitted for a gas mask. Um it wasn't it wasn't smelling salts, it was like some type of smoke or something like that. But it was it was pretty much the same thing, I think. Well, not really, but Well, like the the new smelling salts, like back in the day apparently they used to like literally like be cubes of sh- like it's like cubed shit. Yeah. But like really bad. Now it's like ammonia. Oh so shit. So it's like taking a whiff of piss Ooh, like right in your face. Oh, hell no. So we gotta do it. Mm-hmm. Come on, bitch! It, it, Come on, bitch! It's, yeah, it's either gonna be like ammonia or like. Some Are you down type to do like... the smelling salts, Navar? Huh? Are you down to do smelling salts? No. Yeah. All right. I've see. Well, we're gonna get some some badass ammonia ones, and we're all gonna hit a smelling salt and die. And that die. shit. No, that shit will open you the fuck up. I bet. I heard it smells like really rancid piss. So I'm. It fucking. It, uh. Well, why don't we just get some Vicks and rub it on our chest? Yeah. Well, no, I'm down for that. No, this is like better than Vicks. I don't know. I've had some pretty good Vicks. Bro, I, I, I put, I put you, Vicks on no. my nose. That doesn't that, that doesn't do shit for no, me. No, like I've does, been clogged up. It does plenty for me. I was yeah. clogged up on one side of my nose, and we had some expire at the clinic. And I was like, you know, I've never smelled these before. And uh, my pharmacist was like, go outside and break it open. And he was like, for, I was like, for real? And he's like, it's expired. I'm going to destroy it anyways. Just go break it. And I was like, all right, bet. And another pharmacist came with me because she's like, I've honestly never smelled them before. I've always dispensed them and seen them, but I've never fucking used like used one before. And I was like, all right, cool. And so we take one and we go outside and uh, like dick. Uh, we snapped it open and like, dude, that shit burned like hell. Like I could feel like all the way back into my tear ducts. God damn. And like, lo and behold, the other side of my sinus is fucking opened up. Sounds like what I need. <laughs> Pretty much. That <laughs> shit fucking worked. I was like, holy shit. Okay, here's here's what we'll do. Smelling salts. You only need one, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I was like, I was like, it was like 20 bucks for like 10. Brian's like, how many come in there? Like, he's going to fucking like take them home and shit. <laughs> and like, <laughs> save them for later. Right. Like, you hit one, your stomach problems will come back. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> You're like, we just need one for the four of us. God damn. Because it no, just takes a little sniff. Like, no. my dumb ass was all like, what does it smell like? Snap. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, we're all, we all got it. We all got to do one. Individually, everyone cracks one open at the same time. But I say, Jesus we, Christ, I, I don't know. It should be fun. That and this should be fun. <laughs> it does not sound fun. <laughs> it would be funny. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, it would probably be hilarious. But then also, what I want to do is I want to get the uh the the weird flavored sodas, like ranch soda and shit like Ugh. that. 
Just I to, mean, I'd try it, but ooh. Say, and mean, also yeah. get some tear gas. I'm down. I get, <laughs> hey, what is it? What is it? You can get on Amazon. Tear gas? Dude, chlor, you can buy fucking chloroform on Amazon. Yeah. Oh, shit. Night, night time. <laughs> hey, fuck it. We'll, if it'll get you in here on time, I'll buy you all the bottles in the world. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> He said, does this smell like chloroform, huh? <laughs> so he turns into like, you know how like Michael Jackson needed his uh his milk yeah. to go to sleep? He starts coming up to you every night. Daddy, give me the rag. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> he gets addicted to chloroform. Boy, that's oh, a shit. bad fucking addiction right <laughs> For there. real. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-huh. Holy shit. Well, that's uh, uh, pretty bad, too. Cause <laughs> Blame it on your godfather. Your brain. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like you get a, to get addicted to something like that. Well, this is not even addiction. I think like chloroform, like in repeated inhalation, will fuck up your brain. Hey. Yeah, it's like uh, I think it's in it part of that Chappelle skit where like um, I think they call it like night night time spray, and they're like the doctor's like this is just chloroform, and like the next scene before the mom gives it to the kids, he's like, "Mom, I don't I don't know math," and she's like, "Here, smell this," and he's just like. <laughs> Like on the couch, just laid out while she's floating, like folding clothes. I better stop selling that shit on Amazon. I'm a stockpile for whenever me and Sarah have kids. God damn. I mean, fuck them kids, right? Michael J- Michael Jordan, fuck them kids. Well, it's pretty easy to make. All you need is and some bleach and ammonia, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm boosting that. I'm fucking boosting that. You fucking idiot. And it's going on TikTok. We're going to get fucking banned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again. 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 <laughs> this time they're like, this time it's not 90 days. You're fucking done. Like, you fucking didn't, moron. You didn't show motherfuckers. You didn't tell motherfuckers how to bury your goddamn body. <laughs> you, how many times do I have to teach you this old man? <laughs> oh, shit. Look, I know how to make a lot of things that people shouldn't know how to make. All right. Brian, what was that one book that uh, they used to sell back in the Gap they, that, that they no longer sell? I think it's called like the Alchemist Cookbook or something. The Anarchist Cookbook. Anarchist Cookbook. Anarchist Cookbook. Anarchist oh, okay. cookbook yeah. That motherfucker would teach you how to make thermite. Oh, shit. Which I definitely don't know how to make. Brian, what, is it, what are the ingredients, Brian? <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everything, yes. Uh, it's honestly really, i don't remember all the ingredients i know magnesium is a big part in potassium something potassium sulfate i think so i want to say like literally you can get like, you can buy the let's, ingredients uh, let's let's stop before we get hit with like a terroristic act oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, that teach show. people how to make uh homemade uh <laughs> stuff you want to shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> the FBI's like, all right, these motherfuckers have gone too fucking far. We start right. seeing bright lights outside. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we're recording here at the bar's house. So yeah. uh, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Brian's cell phone number is 979. <laughs> The guy who oh who knows all this shit, <laughs> and for the best throat job, in I'll do, I'll do, I'm gonna do him a favor. They gonna call that motherfucker. The number you have dialed has been inactive for three fucking years. So we turn this whole off. <laughs> this bitch ain't been used but three times. God damn, he uses it once a fucking year. Oh shit! Oh, well, I've we- been using it for my uh, video calls. For what video calls? Uh, with the VA. Oh, okay. that, so. I was like, let me find out you a cam girl now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 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 He's Fuck only it. fan. You think I haven't thought about it? Brian, Brian, <laughs> Brian, Brian over it. There. I heard uh, Danny DeVito got one, and he's short and thick, so fucking. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but then I step out of the shower, and, you know, reality hits. So. Goddamn. Brian, theme song, hands on my knees, shaking ass. On my <laughs> <laughs> you mean no ass. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, talking about, you see all that thass, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Brian's trying to earn money so he can get a new ass. Yeah, yeah. I don't have kinkles. I have thass. <laughs> that thass is thass in the day, boy. <laughs> we'll thork for thass. God damn. <laughs> oh shit, poor Beezy. It's all right. We'll, we'll get you an ass someday. Have you checked the lost and found for that motherfucker? <laughs> 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 mm. Check in the military. They might have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they took as like, collateral whenever he left. Right. Like, you can exactly. leave early, but we're taking that ass. <laughs> that ass is literally ours. 
Hell yeah. Ugh, that's funny <laughs> as fuck. Bruh, Sarah's, we started watching, or Sarah, let me rephrase that. Sarah started watching the show. It's called like Adults Adopting Adults. What the fuck? The fuck? TLC will, will fucking air anything, bro. Yeah, they will. It's like 50 year old, no, like 39 year old people adopting like 26 year olds and shit. What the shit? Yeah, and they like take them in and treat them like kids. It's weird. What? Yeah, it's super weird. And like this is like I thought it was a show. You know, like, I, th- <laughs> I thought it was a fucking Tim and Eric bit when I first yeah. saw it. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, "There's no way this shit is real." I was like, "This is on Cartoon Network," but apparently yeah. it's like a real thing. And like it's an actual like culture where like these people like our age. Well, like sometimes people our age will adopt someone older, like what? a fifty, sixty year old person, and, and they'll take them to like daycare and shit. See that that kind of makes sense to me if you're like a adopting like an older you know no no person. okay no i'm talking about like i'm 30 almost 33 adopting like a 41 year old and like they want to be treated like a kid oh yeah oh yeah i thought you meant like you're adopting someone who's oh, like i, 70 I, prob- or I probably said like that. that but no but no uh, like someone like 40 50 where they're right. like they're perfectly fine they just want to be like taking a daycare and like playtime and shit it's fucking oh, weird fuck. bro it's like um fuck i forget what it was on i don't know if it was jerry springer uh, fucking Uncle Phil, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> Doctor Phil, Phil. Doctor Phil. <laughs> Phil, Uncle Phil, <laughs> yo Uncle Phil, first things first, Mr. Uncle Phil, Phil. <laughs> for real. Doctor Phil's like, I am not dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's a <laughs> white version of Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> There's powerful. <laughs> 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 oh, I would love. I would give anything to see Doctor Phil or hear Doctor Phil say the N word. Oh, dude, you know he has. Like, oh yeah, for sure. He's from Texas. He's balding with that mustache. She he says it on a daily. <laughs> <laughs> it's in his vocabulary for sure. For but, sure. Um, oh, I forget which one of those shows it was on, or Maury, or whatever the fuck it was on. But um, this dude who looked like a fucking security guard, like I'm talking, like big jacked up motherfucker bald dude uh on the weekends he identifies as a little girl and he has this old couple that's adopted him yeah and so he puts on like this fucking blonde haired wig and wears dresses and they take him to walmart to go buy like dolls and shit or they'll you know what's crazy is i was actually looking into that because i was reading an article about how now doctors are looking into like uh they're studying trans people the way uh why they want to become a man or I think a woman. I've heard of this. And they're yeah. like, it's from severe trauma. Like some of the worst type of trauma you can have. It it, it mainly comes from like uh like when their parents abandon them, but then they come back in their to their lives. So they just don't know like mm. it, it throws them off like really mm. bad. And then there's like like obviously like abuse and shit like that. That, right. but that can, that's just trauma in general. But like but with like trans people and then like there's some another like people who like want to be like goats and shit, like <laughs> like they like get real severe trauma. Like goats, hmm. like the animal, or yeah, goats like the people like, who are like, I'm a fucking horse. Oh, you know, like or I'm a fucking or like that girl that's on, that girl that's on. Um, she has her on a website, but she acts like a dog twenty four seven. Yeah, like that pup mm. play shit, like yeah. all yeah. that. Like it comes, it stems from like, like base damn near like unfixable trauma. Damn, yeah, yeah. Because I've I've heard like uh, a psychologist talking about like they're theorizing. It's not fact yet, but they're theorizing with some trans people, not all. Is that uh, because parents didn't allow them to interact with like their opposite, opposite sex? sex? Yeah. yeah, like kind of like interact with like you know kids, like boy kids playing as a you know with girl dresses, girl cl- uh, girl clothes, and like uh, girl um, toys, and toys, shit. and all that stuff. It it's so like behind their behind in their brain is that when they get older they want to do it. Because they can do it now. Because they can do it. Yeah. I know there was a there was a, a thing saying that, like... Uh, and again, again, it's theorizing. Yeah, again, this is all, like, fucking hearsay. But, like, I saw... I read an article where it was, like, 98% of people do not like being told what to do. So right. whenever your parents are like, hey, don't do that, blah, 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 the chances of you actually doing that when you're on your own are pretty fucking high. Right. So, yeah. when, like, when a, like, a dad tells his son, don't play with a Barbie doll, that's for girls, or don't do this, or a, gr- a girl's being told don't play sports as for boys they're probably gonna do the exact opposite of what you told them to do right when they're capable of doing it so hmm. motherfucker don't get straight a's 
right? <laughs> don't, fucking, it, don't you that, apply for that, that fucking scholarship, <laughs> hey, bitch? I don't think that works because oh, then damn. he's gonna be full on retarded, and then <laughs> you gotta worry about him going to school. <laughs> he's been taking over your grandpa's lawnmower business. <laughs> she, <laughs> she slaving like a wet one. You lie. I saw this fucking meme earlier where it's like, man, this new uh, this new Gen Z or these new Gen Z motherfuckers don't give a damn. And it was like, uh, you know how like whenever we put in our two weeks notice or we quit, we're like, hey, this isn't working out or blah blah blah. It just so, don't show up. Yeah, we just or just don't show up. But Gen Z will send a message like, oh, it's giving me shackles vibe or some shit like that, like slavery. <laughs> oh so, like, shit! Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm getting so shackles yo, by yo, it's giving me shackles vibes. I was like, what the shit? <laughs> Who the fuck says that? No. I don't know. I saw it earlier on Facebook. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some jobs that I see or I've seen people work and it does feel like a sh- shackle kind yeah. of vibe. But I mean, I would never fucking say that. Oh, I, I'm stealing that hole. Like, what the fuck? Real? That's yeah. dope as fuck. Well, it's like. <laughs> Adriana texted the group chat because my dad's like, how's everybody doing today? My, and she was like, I'm worried. And my dad's like, why are you worried? And she's like, oh, I'm stressed out from work. She's working at Whataburger in Houston. Oh, she went to Houston? Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. She's going to have seven kids soon. Oh, yeah. And so uh, she, uh, she's like, oh, we're not meeting our sales and all this other shit, right? And da 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 and before my dad could be like, don't worry, it's going to be okay. Just do what you can in eight hours or whatever, or whatever your fuck your shit was. And I texted back immediately. Remember, you've always quit for less. Facts. And. Like, Motherfucker, you got steaks and Whataburger or something? What you worried about that shit for? <laughs> like, facts. I was like, but you quit for less. And then my dad and everybody came in. They're like, no, you're. it's going to be okay. Just do what you can. And then I almost texted back saying. Bitch, I know you've quit for less. You should just stop showing up to Canes because they didn't give you a weekend off. <laughs> you just literally, and they texted you saying, hey, where are you at? And you're like, at my new job. The first day of your new fucking job at a sandwich shop. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> I mean, shit, you I'm, I'm going to have to cut this out, but hold on. She was like, yes, thank you. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, just don't show up. Who cares? I was like, burn bridges. It was much funner than fucking being professional. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, shit. It, it sounds so much more satisfying, but fuck. It's definitely more satisfying. I can't tell you how many times I've done that shit. It's so fucking fun. Like, you ever just, like, I don't know if you ever, like, have you ever taken your anger out on something, like, getting, like, a bat and, like, hit a tire or just something, you know, just to right. relieve? That's what it feels like. God damn. Especially whenever the look on their faces and when you're, they're like, what the fuck? You're not coming back? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I'm like, bitch, did you honestly think I was going to stay here? You think I was gonna do this if for a, that long? If, if someone it's shackles vibe, I'm out. <laughs> shackles vibe, boy, <laughs> it's giving me shackles vibe. Fuck. For, if someone comes up to me and asks me, like, "Hey, you know, how do you like it so far?" and I'm like, "It's okay," just know I ain't sticking around much longer. God damn. Facts. <laughs> it's giving me comp picking vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me. I'm getting the fuck out of here vibe. <laughs> It's giving me I ain't gonna last. <laughs> this shit's giving me Toby vibes. Hey, it's giving me Roots vibes. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's giving me I need to find an underground railroad vibe. <laughs> it's giving me wading in the water vibes. <laughs> <laughs> the place has me. Got me running around here singing "Swing Low, <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Cherry." <Yeah. laughs> this place is really getting me Martin Luther King vibes. I got a dream to get the fuck out. Dude, it's giving me yes, a massive vibes. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's giving me Django vibes. Django. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that the other day. That, that part. So you want us to treat them like white folk? No, that's not what I said. <laughs> that's, that's the fastest no in that fucking movie. <laughs> that's, that's not what I said. <laughs> I fucking love that movie, oh, dude. Shit. Oh man. <laughs> so you want us to treat them like white folk? No, no, <laughs> that's not what I said. Oh shit. He's a free man. <laughs> Except for man, he did use the N word. Yeah. <laughs> no, my favorite part is with Jonah Hill. He's all like, <laughs> he's like, why, why, why do we have to do this with the fucking uh, the 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 
Can't, put it on our heads. Can't see in this thing. I can't fucking breathe in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, fuck y'all. Don't ask me or Miles for nothing else. Then <laughs> you just leave. <laughs> to a fucking tantrum before a fucking clan rally. It just dipped out. Oh, shit. Tell the job. Y'all can really give me clan vibes. You oh, know? shit. <laughs> Bruh. Y'all give me some cross burning vibes. I'm out. <laughs> That'd be dope. Y'all giving me some white hood vibes. Oh, that's funny. Y'all give me some blonde hair, blue eye looking vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all give me some Holocaust vibes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Where the fuck are you working? Oh, <laughs> shit. Are you getting paid at this motherfucker? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Next, he's like, Y'all give me some Hiroshima vibes. <laughs> <What the damn>. fuck? <laughs> I was just about to say <laughs> that one didn't even make sense. <laughs> Yeah, you're radioactive. You you die instantly. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> no, they fucking blew up my weekend, so <laughs> God <laughs> damn. yeah. I'm about to blow that I'm, shit up. Are killing all my dreams. <laughs> Bro, I wanted to shit on that guy's foot in the bathroom earlier so bad. That nasty ass foot. <laughs> he didn't even have a toe. Bro, his fucking right toenail. his big toenail looked like yeah. a burn victim. That shit looked bad. <laughs> Well, it looked like he didn't even have a toenail. It I really mean, didn't. It looked yeah. all kinds of fucked off. It looked nasty as hell. I know that much. <laughs> you should have wordy bird him. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he had shit fly on his foot. Dude, that's why I would never... That is... Hold up. Okay, here. Let's, let's get it started. <laughs> Trashy as fuck. Sandals in a public bathroom. Trashy as fuck. And nasty as fuck, too. <laughs> See, I... Just sandals not, in general. Uh, like, like, yeah, I I mean, I'm not for open-toed shoes. So, yeah, you know, like, I mean, I know what, my feet are fucked up. So, obviously, I'm not going to subject anyone yeah, else to that. I'm not just that. showing my shit off to everyone. Like, my yeah. toes are fucked up. Yeah. Um. Not only that, but, yeah, it's like the hygiene of it, too. is because, you know, going around everywhere, you know, collecting you know shit particles from every floor, in a public every bathroom floor. for sure yeah, yeah right. public bathrooms too i mean yeah sure some places clean them regularly Quote unquote, yeah but regularly but they realistically just go in check the trash they just spray that hole with lysol <laughs> yeah Goddamn, you, ain't lying. you ain't lying and not only that but it, they're just not very good you know because I, I got somewhat high arches so you know flat shoes like that just ain't going to give me the support yeah. I need. You old as fuck, bro. Yeah. Plus, I've never really liked open like nah, not a sandals or anything like that. Even either. when I wear slides, I wear socks. Yeah. Oh, word? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like my toes exposed. Bro, you don't want to see my toenails. Talk about burn victims. Them hoes look bad. God damn. Hell yeah. Hmm. You said you had a couple a couple of trashies. What do you got? Oh, <laughs> plastic spinners. Plastic, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trash. The fucking on, plastic on that, ones that fucking AutoZone or whatever. Yeah. The ones we were going to put on your S10 before you, before you smash that onto a tree. They're, they're not even the rims. They're just the fucking spinning hubcaps. Yeah, yeah. So you just yeah. put the yeah. And you can, you can see the metal rim where you have to like put it in the little fucking holes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trash. Hella trash. <laughs> And uh, you know what the fucked up thing is? What's like up? I remember being I remember being pretty young, you know, I would say, you know, probably about 15, 16, you know, whenever those were making its, you know, big surge. Oh, spinners? Spinner, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Especially after that song. I ride, ride spinners. Ride spinners. <laughs> they don't stop. <laughs> don't yeah. stop. And, I, and I remember I went to an auto zone once. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> and I and I saw them there. I was like, Oh, these are kind of fly. Brian, you were fucking trash. <laughs> I was fucking 15. That's no excuse. You're still, the fact that that thought crossed your brain means you're trash, son. Holy shit. Well, for me, like, I didn't really know, like, because I didn't really know, like, how they did spinners. Because, you know, I saw them there. And I was like, oh, they're just fucking hubcaps. So I didn't realize, like, the spinners were an actual, like, like rim. Yeah. Were yeah. an actual rim. Yeah. So I was like, Brian's like, damn, thirty dollars. That's all everybody man, paying for these. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, these motherfuckers are getting them for. They're getting these on good deal, you know. <laughs> so which which card did you put it on? I didn't have a car at the time. Oh, he was okay. fifteen. Yeah, I was fifteen. 
But so. if he, but if you had a car, if I had a car, I definitely would have thrown him <laughs> on there. Oh my God, the fact Cause, that because I, I want to say like the first car that I really was driving around regularly was that fucking was my mom's old Hyundai. Oh shit, the one Missy would always yeah that Hyundai Elantra, bro. A Hyundai Elantra with fake spinners <laughs> is the trashiest shit I can think about the moment. <laughs> Not not his S10 with the fucking spinner. No, because that would actually look Mexican as fuck. That's <laughs> somehow I don't know why that's not trashy, but that's just Mexican as fuck. Right. Like to me, you know what's trashy? I don't give a what's fuck. Up? I think when you put rims on a truck, you're trash. Yeah. I hate that shit. I think that is yeah. that is garbage. Like what do you what do you rims and and the the smaller tire. Yeah, the, like the fucking uh, uh what are they called? The low pros and shit. Yeah, yeah, like that's the dumbest fucking thing. You literally bought a vehicle to to do work with, and then you you basically taken away like eighty percent of its capabilities. Right. Yeah. Because you fucking take oh, that or motherfucker. When you lift it too. Shit. Well, lifting it that that makes sense because a lot of times that can't help. But but I mean like when you drop your truck and you put rims on it, that's fucking stupid. Right. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you take a fucking dirt road one time. Oh yeah, and your there shit's all oh, fucked, fucked up. off. You start dragging all kind of shit on the ground, or fucking just drive through Somerville. <laughs> yeah, shit's yeah, yeah, all fucked up. Just, 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 fucking hit a pothole in that hoe. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> You're gonna start leaving all <laughs> a trail of fucking metal everywhere. You know what else is trashy that I find like find trashy? Cinder blocks. Cinder blocks? Where? Like holding shit up? Yeah, just having cinder blocks at your house. Like if you if you see cinder blocks, don't you like think automatically like they're gonna be on someone's car? <laughs> <sighs> it says, D- depends it, on where they're being used. It's yeah, it's a bit of a stress, but I it, I, it I, is. I, 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 I see where you're coming from. Cinder blocks on a house that's already on stilts. <laughs> yeah. To make it higher. <laughs> to make it higher. <laughs> That's fucking trashy, yeah. yeah because if yeah. you dri- if you're driving like you're going towards Bastrop, <clears throat> there's a house that's like that, and I've always seen this house. I'm like, oh, it's dope that it's on stilts. But then, like, I was like, why is part of it? I've always seen part of it, and I'm like, why they only paint part of that shit gray? And so, like, I drove home and I really looked at it. No, they've got like poles going all the way up to a certain point, and the rest of them hoes are just stacked up center <laughs> blocks. <laughs> Oh, you know what's what I think is hella trashy is whenever someone uses the the spray primer and that's all they put on their car and because they can't afford a real paint job, so they like you see like the overspray, the running right. lines and shit. Oh, well, no shit, because like fucking sp- uh, paying for uh, uh, actual paint is like a lot, dude. It's only oh, five hundred bucks. What? Yeah, I it, heard it's like six thousand for the, what? Do you get your car painted? Yeah. No, fuck no. Really? Yeah. If dude. you're if you're getting like the super nice fucking like pearlescent paint, yeah, if with get, fucking you know gold flakes and shit. gold flakes and right. the transitioning, yeah, paint. If you, if you just get like if you want your truck to be white, like five hundred bucks. Really? Yeah, because like sanding down, that's like it, like that's the longest part. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The it, the that, sanding, and that, and yeah. that may take like what? three I didn't, hours. I, know that. Like, I thought it, I thought it was like expensive. Fuck no. Like, back you, in the day, maybe, but now it's like. 500 bucks because yeah, i always hear people like nah i take my car to fucking mexico to get all that shit done i was like word it's like yeah it's like like at least like ten thousand to five thousand dollars to get it all painted up yeah they're that. they're trying to get something like extravagant done to their car yeah yeah because yeah, like i know like there's that mako that or at least it was there right on uh harvey or harvey mitchell wherever the fucking mall is yeah there's that mako there dude you can go in there right now and like pay like five to seven hundred bucks and get your shit painted really yeah Hmm. That's for like a so, like a solid color. Like right. I mean, again, if you if you want other shit, that's where it starts getting expensive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. the metallic, metallic, and like nah. the pearls and all that. Like Brian was saying, transition and all this. No, but if you just get fucking, so I can r- change my truck's color, mm-hmm. really, to like a cherry red. Yeah, and the only way it will be really expensive is like say you have a bunch of holes in the fiberglass because they have to patch it up. Right. But I mean, even then, that's like an additional hundred, two hundred bucks, depending on how much Bad work they is. have to do yeah yeah but yeah no i mean hmm. but if your truck is metal they can just they can uh ding it out yeah it's yeah. that's way yeah, easier than fucking yeah. uh fiberglass right fiberglass is where is a pain in the ass yeah, yeah. no that truck is metal yeah no because i i do want to get like a cherry red kind of thing on top of that the fucking paint sticks to the metal better because of the the coating that they put on there, right? Yeah, with the fiberglass, the reason that it can be it can be so expensive is because they have to do that coat that makes it stick paint, 
clear coat. That coat that makes the stick paint clear coat. They had to do so many coats. That's where with a metal vehicle, like my grandpa had his Sierra uh, repainted. It would like he he had yeah, it back in like two days. Yeah, if it's like metal, they could just uh, they could do what? It's called uh, like, it's powder called, coat. It's well, it's called e coating. Mm. So basically, what they do is they they shock therapy or shock treat the metal, right? So that way it, it holds the paint shock better. Therapy. Yeah, it's like some type of shock treatment, whatever. Mm. Remember that thing where they were knocking the rust off those knives when they yeah. restore it? It's something like that, but not that not that extreme. So wait, where yeah. where do you get like a white wall of tires? You can, I mean, you can go to fucking like uh, what's it called? A uh, NBT or whatever national or NTB. You can go to any tire shop, hmm. and if they yeah, don't they, have them, they, they can. If they don't have them on stock, then they'll have to order, order them for yeah. you. But those are expensive. I know that. Not really. The white wall yeah. tires. Yeah, and maybe a little bit more expensive than your average tire. It depends. On, it depends on your size. Like if yeah. you're trying to get uh, you know, like fucking. I don't know how big your tires are, like the rims and shit, but like for most of the older trucks and stuff, they're not that expensive. Hmm. I mean, truck tires are always going to be more expensive than car tires. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. So you have to take that in, into consideration. And then, and then if you want custom tires like that, yeah. Hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. I mean, and, I mean, $500, five yeah. to $700 is still pretty steep. You're right. But it's not six like, six to 10 grand. Like, I don't know where they were, where they were trying to take their shit. Uh, I don't know. Fucking West Coast Customs. For some reason, shit. Right. <laughs> West Coast Customs. Yeah, you you're talking about spray paint and I was remembering uh it it reminded me of something. Someone, um can't remember who. Uh that's basically someone spray painted their rims on their car. Like to try and make it look fly. They they yeah, spray painted it like black. Yeah. But it looked like ass. Like, <laughs> yeah, because on on Chrome, the way it it won't give that uh that matte look that I'm pretty sure they were going for. Right. Yeah. It'll look like spotty because yeah. the Chrome doesn't hold. Well, you have to you have to shock those things in order for them to open up their quote unquote mm. pores in order for it to hold. Right. Real, yeah. Realistically, you gotta. Well, it it depends. Uh, normally, it's gonna be Chrome plated. Yeah. You, well, so see, you gotta knock the plating off. Yeah, to really get it to stick again. That that's what I'm saying. You shock it, and what it, what that does is it, it 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 like Gabriel was explaining it to me. Like it opens like basically the pores of the metal. Yeah, yeah, hmm. and so that way it it holds much better than like fiberglass because you would think that because fiberglass has all those waves and like shit yeah. like that in there. No, nah, it, it doesn't hold as well as you think. Interesting. So would you say uh, spray pra- spray painting is trashy? For your cars? For your car. Fuck yeah. That's Fuck yeah. super trash. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not art, but like spray painting, like, you know. Yeah, that's that's car. mega dumpy. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's really trashy. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says either. When people <laughs> cut their tailpipes and shit to make their car sound louder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When it's a little what would you call it? Ricer or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It sounds zzz. But then the next day you see it, it's like, you're like, what the hell? Shit? Why does it sound like a diesel? For oh, real. Because they cut out their fucking. Their fucking exhaust. And yeah, shit. They, they either cut out their fucking muffler or their catalytic converter. Dumbass. The meth head, so they sold that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or to pay for whatever thing that they need for their car or truck. Bro, I just found out that the reason, like, uh, me and like the newer guys wearing like white budget vans is because the the actual <laughs> vans that they had were uh the people were breaking into the the vans and stealing the catalytic converters and shit like that. Oh shit! Yeah, the because fuck? they just leave them in the fucking parking lot. Yeah, like they don't have like a garage for us to you know to move to them. park them in. Yeah, so they just park uh, them right yeah. there. So people are cutting out their catalytic converters. Yeah, damn, that that's is why, wild. Like if you go look at my truck right now, I have my tools in there because they're like. Because most of those vans, they have those, uh, like the, it's almost like a deadbolt for, uh, you know, the outside of the vans and shit yeah. on the door. Yeah. But the the budget vans, we can't do that. So I'm like, I'm not leaving none of my shit in there. Fuck that. Oh hell yeah. no, dude! I work with Jamar. He was like, he he's he, he's probably ordered like five six thousand dollars worth of tools from the company site and just leaves them in the van overnight. I'm like, oh, you fucking crazy. Oh hell, I know, no. I know, we didn't pay for it, but yeah. still, like, uh-huh. it takes them so long to get a shit that like it's it's kind of not even worth it. You know what I right. mean? Like. Like, I'd honestly rather just take the shit that I need home. Yeah. Damn. Mm-mm. Yeah, fuck that noise. Fuck that, because, I mean, like, what, you get all this shit, someone's going to break in, fucking get it all. E- e- either they're going to use it or they're going to sell it. Yep. For and then, drugs. And then you got to wait for, like, three weeks to get a drill or some shit, and you're like, 
Fuck. Right. Fucking whack. But yeah. I don't even know what the hell we were talking about. I don't even know how we got on this fucking concept. Oh, we're, we're doing the uh, oh, uh, trash. Oh, oh, trashy. Well, let's do some cheap. What do y'all think is cheap? We you know what I always thought was cheap. What's up? It was whenever, uh, whenever a motherfucker, uh, you go to their house and their, and their toothpaste bottle is, I mean, flat, like razor thin. Like, they're like, motherfucker, just spare the $3 and go get some get toothpaste. Get a new one. Shit. Goddamn. No, you know what? What I think is cheap? Fucking buffets. Hell yeah. <laughs> and trashy. And it's, it's, hey, that's a two in one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a two in one. That's fucking, uh, that's cheap and trashy. <laughs> Imagining fucking having sex in there. <laughs> Where? In a fucking buffet. In a buffet? Yeah. Like going in the restroom and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, like I a can't night- even imagine the restrooms. Se- are- oh. Uh 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 nightclub sex is hella trashy. Uh yeah, hella it is. trashy. Just nightclubs in and general, disgu- dude. Yeah. Well nah. I mean it just depends like like well no, they're fucking trashy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're just trashy. Yeah, they're just, trashy. Tra- yeah. Just get out of the way. They're fucking yeah. trashy. I was trying to be nice to the nightclub goers, but fuck y'all. That shit <laughs> yeah. is trashy. It's all it's always, you know, shitty music, expensive drinks. I've literally yeah. never gone like I I think I've maybe gone to two clubs and both times I went they were playing music that I absolutely hated. Yeah. So it's so loud and so yes. dark. Yeah. I, I prefer a bar than like yes. fucking Like that was that was yeah, my club. that was my thing, yeah. just bars. Yeah, take me to the bar. Cool. Yeah, yeah, because I want to go play. I want to go shoot some pool. Shoot some pool. Actually, Chill be able out. to have a conversation yeah. with somebody, not yeah. screaming and shit. Hey, like that. Oh god, oh, that yes. one bar that we Holy went to. Shit. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that place, dude. Oh my, well, that was that was a pool hall, right? Yeah, it was a fucking like legit pool hall. They had fucking probably about like a dozen pool tables. Right, dude. How how tall were those speakers that guy had? Like four foot, five foot, something like oh, that. Oh, something like that. The, but they were on stands. But yeah, yeah. The, the speakers themselves, they were like good, like four foot speakers. Yeah, the, they're all damn near stadium speakers. Yeah. Oh shit. And it, what was, he was playing like Baby Got Back or some shit, dude. We walked in and like right away, I was like, I don't think I can. It gave me a fucking headache. Yeah, we were only mm-hmm. in there for like what five, six minutes, something like that. Yeah. That. Dude, dude, we tried to go around the corner to like get away from the music. I guess how loud it was. And the whole time I'm like, fuck this. Mm-mm. Nope. This is horrible. Nah, I would have gone to Dave and Buster's. Well, what? no, we were trying to play pool. Yeah, I know. Dave and Buster's have uh, pool, pool yeah, tables. But, but the the pool uh, hall environment is. Yeah, is no, better. I get it. But like, if y'all want to still play pool, I'd have been like, fuck it. Might like, as well go to Dave and Buster's. Y'all want to go fucking play pool? Right uh, now? No, Friday night. Oh. I'm down. I think busy? it should be free. Yeah. Let's go to Poets. Poets? Yeah. I don't think I've ever been to Poets. Really? I mean, yeah. it ain't nothing special, but I mean, yeah. it's, it's it's a nice pool hall. They have really a shit ton of tables in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah like, what, 20 tables, 30 something tables? Something like that, because they have league nights, was it, like, Thursday night or some shit like that? And it's literally, like, half of it's, like, bar and karaoke with darts and whatnot, mm-hmm. and that weird shuffleboard game. Yeah. And then the other half is literally, like, pool tables, like, from one end to the other end. Right. And okay. so you can, you can get, like, a pool table back in the corner. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's dope. I didn't even I know we had a pool it, table place. It, it said <laughs> it's not like the greatest pool hall, but, but it's I, mean, I, 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 I like it because of the environment. It's super chill. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Like Yesterday's it, has a bunch of pool tables. I don't too. like yesterday's. It's, it's a bunch of old <clears throat> folks in there. Like Oh, yeah. That's like, an old folk. That's a regular's bar. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's one thing I, I always dreaded becoming was a regular. So I was like, fuck this. I'll just bar hop. <laughs> fuck <laughs> that shit. Why don't you want to become a regular? I just don't like that. Like, I never liked the idea of like walking into a bar and people knowing your name. It's like, what's like, up? You become a what's fucking. Up? You become the Cheers theme song. <laughs> Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. It's like that is pathetic. Really? Like you walk into a bar and everyone knows your name. Yeah, that was Consuelo. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> no, yes, that's how I know about yesterday's. Yeah, she would always go there. That's where <laughs> she would always. That's go where there. her and Tony had her first date. Yeah, like literally. Um. Uh, we walked in one time. I was I was playing her DD after her first wreck. Yeah, uh. and uh, um, <laughs> didn't you drink too? <laughs> no, that was the second time. Um, allegedly, allegedly, but um, that word doesn't mean shit on this show. Just, <laughs> so, y'all, just so y'all know. <laughs> yeah. No, but the first time I was her DD, I was like legitimately her DD, and she's like, "I'll play for pool if you just got to drive me home." And I'm like, "All right, cool." We walk in and like eight people were like, Consuelo, what's up? You're back again. And they're like, she's like, yeah. And I got a DD this time. And they're like, thank God. God damn. Yeah, because they heard about a wreck. Right. And so uh, they're like, oh, cool. And so um, 
one of the waitresses uh came up and she's like your usual ma'am and i was like yeah she was like anything for you sir and i was like uh just a dr pepper she's like dr pepper and and i was like oh no i'm dd tonight and she's like oh okay okay cool cool so she brought me like this like you know like those mexican um uh, restaurants like the gigantic gl- plastic glasses yeah she brought me one of those full of dr pepper oh, she's shit, like here you go yeah. and i was like oh shit fucking thank you normally they just give you like a can or some oh shit. yeah and she, yeah pretty much a dr pepper and so i was like oh hell yeah and so I was just drinking Dr. Pepper and playing pool and with Consuelo and then uh, and she got to drinking and, you know, talking and mingling and doing her thing. And I didn't know anybody there, so I'm just shooting around playing right. playing pool by myself, kind of, sort of. And then this old man walked up and this homie was trying to take this bitch to Vegas. Who, Consuelo? Yeah. <laughs> And she was like, he was like, we can go right now. I got a private jet and all this other shit. And, da, 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 and kept sweet talking her and sweet talking her. And she almost fell for it until I pulled her to the side. And I was like, look, are you going to suck this man's dick tonight? And she goes, what? And I was like, he's trying to take you to Vegas. You're going to have to give something up to oh, come yeah. back home. Hey, let's be real. If you're yeah. taking, if you're taking a broad anywhere. She's like some dick. <laughs> like, yeah, she's like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And I was like, well, then tell him if you don't want to go. <laughs> But okay, but before we move on to the next topic of, of, of sucking dick for flying hoes out and shit, <laughs> being a regular at a bar, trashy. That's my take on it. Really? Yes. Super fucking trashy. Huh. It depends. No, it doesn't. For because I don't it, think I wouldn't mind it. Freaking yeah. it, the bartenders know what I want. It, I like the environment. Think about how pathetic you sound that you go to a bar so often that people know your name and your fucking drink of choice. What if your friend owns the bar? fucking worse <laughs> that is trashy as shit dude and this is coming from an alcoholic i would never be caught dead in the same bar every fucking night that is so that's, well not not well let's say let's say it's choice. not every night what if it's only like every friday, friday. Night? If that's the only yeah. bar you go to then it's fucking trashy but what if it's a bar slash pool hall yeah. If you're playing pool, it's different. If you're drinking, like if you're going in there and it was like, hey, Greg, you want the usual? And you throw your coat to some yeah, fucking man. bitch. No, dude, that's trashy. Hmm. There's nothing romantic about that shit. Like, it's well, fucking who, trashy. Who gives a fuck about romance? Um, no, I'm saying, like, the thought, that's what he's thinking. Like, I oh, would no. love that. Blah, blah, blah. There's, I'm telling you, it's pathetic as shit. Hmm. You're like, ooh, fucking, you walk in and someone gives you a drink and slides it down the bar like it's a <laughs> fucking episode of Cheers. Got it. Suck my tits. That's it. fucking trashy. That's just me. I think it's trashy. If you go to a restaurant, it's even trashier. Like you oh, walk in and a motherfucker, and I'm, no, I mean just like a restaurant, and the motherfucker brings you like a a, a fucking a foot long high pile of ice cream. Here you go, cutie. Here's the regular. You're fucking trash. Oh no, fuck that dude. No, fuck Antonio. That Antonio, is fuck, fuck you. that. No, fuck you. Fuck you because I've I've you know out of all the places I've well you know out of the places I've been to. Um, I, I always generally develop like one or two regular spots that I enjoy going to for food, like for some of my favorite foods. And, Trash! you know, because there was the, the Thai place up in Washington, and then there was the... I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a Jaime. Yeah, and Jaime's. I'll give, you, I'll give you that, only because the food is that good. Yes. Other than that, if okay, we're talking about a bomb ass taco truck. Yeah, bomb yeah, ass yeah, taco yeah, truck. Yeah, yeah. If you go to if you go to McDonald's every day, okay, oh, that's trash. Yeah, that's trash. But, but, but I mean, like I'm talking about like local on, joints. Yeah, yeah, local joints. Like I, Antonio's knew when I like I knew the owner and I knew one of the servers there, and they knew whenever I walked in, they're like, "Yo, we got you two buffalo bobs in the oven already." Hell yeah, fucking I'm all, fucking amazing. I'm awesome. Trash. Fuck off. I think with trash. food. I think you're trash, dude. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, this come from motherfucker yeah, who eats nothing but chicken wings. Chicken wings. <laughs> chicken. Yeah. No, 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 motherfuckers, get it right. Chicken tenders. Hey, chicken there's tender. a difference. Hey, that's cool. And that's why all, all three of y'all motherfuckers got titties and shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck all y'all. <laughs> well, you would have you titties got... if you could burn them. Or yeah, if well, you, well, you keep have them. one titty if, if you could <laughs> yeah, gain yeah, weight. One titty. Well, you got enough titty for all of us, so fuck you. How about that <laughs> fucking fast food restaurant regular eat my ass? <laughs> Suck my one tit. How about that? <laughs> uh, I'm sure if if you did go through the drive through, the motherfuckers at Canes would know you. Yeah, because I fucking spit hot fire. <laughs> <laughs> but, but okay, I'll tell you what. Fuck the restaurant. Y'all can have that. But a bar is still fucking trash. Okay, yeah, 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 a yeah. bar. Who give you the bar? Yeah, I'll give you the bar. But 
Cause, yeah, because that's just alcoholism. So yeah, it's fucking pathetic. Yeah, it's fucking trash. And, and like, I'm, I'm, the reason I gave y'all the restaurant thing is because I don't think there's a a day has gone by where I haven't had McDonald's for breakfast. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. so- <laughs> I'll take that. But a bar is different. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be you're gonna be at McDonald's like. Was it that video that you showed me? Yeah, we'll watch. Someone's gonna walk. He's, one day Zeke's gonna walk in, and one of those motherfuckers is gonna be like, "Yo, man, we got you hooked up." Well, what no, up? Are, well, are they, you're, you're gonna go through the draft and be like, "Hey, my man," and then be like, "Twelve ninety five," and be like, "Wait, what?" Twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. No, no really, like, motherfucker, you the only one that fucking orders chicken tendies and <laughs> at eight in the motherfucking morning no really all right no. let me get a milkshake though bitch you are lactose intolerant <laughs> we fucking know this yeah. what do when a, when a mcdonald's employee knows your fucking well-being and all your ailments trash, <laughs> <laughs> <It's fucking> trash. <laughs> they're like zeke you know you gotta watch your ldl you can't be fucking <laughs> can't be fucking with that man <laughs> Last time he was in here, you told us he was borderline diabetic. <laughs> you know, we can't be fucking giving you that shit. Goddamn. That is trash. Hey, at least they're saving life, dog. Yeah, true. They just, they're like, hey, man, you can do better than this. Go, <laughs> go somewhere else. <laughs> we, we slipped you some extra greens in your burger. <laughs> we know you hate them shits, but your mama called us and said you got to eat that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Your mom calling the restaurant. Yeah, that's super true. <laughs> uh, oh, I got a random ass one. You know what's really trash? What's up? That one, or you know who's really trash? That one kid who has to call his parents during the sleepover so they can come pick him up because he's scared. Oh shit! You know what I'm yeah. About? Trash. How do you how do you want to go to a sleepover and you don't want to fucking and you can't make it through the night? Is I that, don't know. What is that like separation anxiety or some shit? What is that? No, it's it's, just, it's pretty much just being in an unfamiliar place. Yeah, because yes. you know everyone's houses kind of creak differently. Yeah, you, know, you kind of yeah. have your own, you know, background noise. You know yeah. what I mean? It's you not know, so like, quiet. Yeah, or, you know. Well, you know, I take trees. That- trees shaking a certain way against the house. And, right. You know. I guess I kind of take that back because I don't like staying at anybody else's house as an adult. Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but yeah, it, it it's just different because I have like my own routine, I guess, yeah. or you know, my own way to go to sleep. You know, like I I like my fan going, <laughs> and so whenever I go, you, know, you, can't be, you can't be rubbing one out on somebody else's uh, couch. You know, as an adult. You know, the one thing I hate is that was that one Jim Gaffigan bit where it's like, no matter how early you wake up, there's a family already over there at the table eating breakfast. Like, whoa, look who slept in. You're like, bitch, it's 5.30 a.m. What the fuck? <laughs> how early do y'all wake up? Jesus. See, for me, it's always been the opposite. Like, I was I was normally waking up before other people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I was, like, that was, like especially that when, whenever too. I was over at Seeks, I, I, I feel like. I don't know. I felt like I was waking up before him. I but, oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. So right. that that uh, would happen to me on all the sleepovers too. Like I'll wake up all before everybody. Yeah. And I'll just be hanging out with the parents, like, oh yeah, what's up, what's up? And then we'll be all eating and chilling now. Everybody else wakes up like around like twelve or one. You're just like, God damn. Yeah, I know. It, it was the same way whenever I had uh sleepovers at Gabriel's. Oh, yeah, we talked about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, my family we're just early birds, I guess. So, you know, we're used to waking up at like you know like seven right, in the morning yeah. on the weekends, so it, it was just weird. And they want to sleep in. I'm like, why y'all want to sleep in? For real, it's like, what the fuck? Let, let's the fucking weekend. Let's get up and do shit. <laughs> let's start the day. Let's do shit because we don't have shit to do. Like, let's fucking yeah. find something to do. Like, yeah, we, we, you know, just been at school all week. You know, let's start the day like right fucking now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How many hours do you think you've wasted in your entire life? I mean, like literally just doing nothing. A lot. I, that number lot. for me has got to be astronomical. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Depends on what you mean by doing nothing. Like I mean, just playing a game, like like wasting time instead of being productive, like non-productive hours. In my lifetime, I think that number outweighs my productivity. <clears throat> like, to be, oh yeah, I'm fuck being yeah. Honest, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd say definitely it's more than my productive hours. Because you know how many times I've gone down the rabbit hole on Wikipedia? You know how fucking <clears throat> relaxing it is sometimes whenever, like, 
when like plans get canceled or some shit. Oh, you're just hell like, yeah. I don't got to do nothing. Right. <laughs> I can you're just, just like, hell yeah, chill. I can stay inside. Yeah, there have definitely been a couple times where, you know, plans got canceled and I was like, oh, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> oh, God. Because I didn't even put on pants yet. So. <laughs> it's just one time. I think it was, was it you? We were supposed to go somewhere or something. And like, I tried to make up an excuse. Oh, Vans. The van store. The warp tour? Oh yeah, warp tour, yeah. Yeah. I, I think eventually like I just kept coming up with all these excuses and shit. And then finally I was like, man, I just don't want to fucking go. And he was like, Oh go. well, goddamn. <laughs> what he had to fucking do. So he called how many times did I call me like a million three, times. Because yeah. we're waiting in the Brookshire Brothers parking lot for him to show up. And I was just like, dude, and I finally when he finally answered, he's like, I just really don't want to go. And I was like, was oh, this well, the time? Shit. I was like, well, shit, that's all you had to say. Click, and then we fucking took off. <laughs> shit, was this Negro, the time when we were with uh, Chance, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were all there, right? Okay, yeah, yeah I remember this. Was yeah. it? No, yeah. this was way before you even met Crystal. You did uh, it to me twice. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because there was one year that we were, I think we were waiting for somebody at the parking lot. And then we're all like, oh, okay. And then, all right, let's go. I don't remember. I just know I didn't want to go. I'm glad I didn't. My hearing would have been so much worse. Oh, yeah. It was right. I, I can't imagine how bad my hearing would be if I've ever gone to a concert. That's why I don't even like concerts. Like, I yeah. just. It's just loud and. Loud, shittier versions of the songs I love. Right. In line. Right. Like, I, I don't think I've ever. Well, aside from certain bands, I don't think I've ever heard a live version of a song that was as good as the studio version. Oh, I have. That oh, I have. Yeah. yeah, like that I have. Like Bob Seger's Turn the Page. Yeah, that, that's why I said outside a couple. Yeah, like there, there's very Like Lincoln few, Park very was few. really fucking good. I even like the, the, the live version of, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Jay-Z. Uh, the oh, Jay- the mashup one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know remember. what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that live album was just as good as the uh, studio. The, studio. the studio version. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lincoln Park for me. Um, Kill Switch Engage. Qu- yeah, Kill Switch. They're Badass anything anything that involves screaming i'm <laughs> out on i just don't like live versions of that shit really mm. yeah like if they have like really good voices like uh elton john's rocket man live i like that version better than the studio version oh yeah that is a fucking yeah. good version of that but Was that's because uh, he can sing or any queen too queen of yeah. course yeah. who else uh, uh layla by eric clapton i've never been a fan of him really no I I thought wa- some of them I didn't. I didn't like whenever they did. Uh, what was it? Uh, Little Piece of Heaven. No, it was from the. What was the album with the dragon on the front? Uh, the the one with the beast and the harlot. Oh fuck! I can't think of the name. I know which one you're talking about. I just can't think of. The name. Either way. Yeah, there's a, there's a live song from that album that they do on the album, mm. uh, or it's like a whole concert or whatever, and that that sounded pretty good. Okay, City of Evil. Yes, City of Evil. There it is. Um. Oh, bring me the hor- wrong. What? What's up? I'm remembering stuff. Oh, oh, God damn. Damn. oh fuck! I'm lucid. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm, lucid. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> oh fuck! This, this ain't vape juice. This is LSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, whenever you said it, I was like, how did you remember that <laughs> shit? For real. <laughs> Fucking albums from like oh five. For real. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe it was the stones that freaking took out all the memory that you had. Brian, quick. Nineteen ninety nine. He's like, okay, you lost me. There. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, fourth grade? Fourth, fifth grade? I actually remember certain <laughs> things that far back, but like like little bitty pieces. Yeah. Not like not in full Right. You know, like like yeah, yeah but like certain things. Like I remember Damn, you remember like we would have to have like the hall passes to go to the bathroom? Yeah. I just remember one time grabbing one of those, like when the lady walked out and I just fucking hucked that hoe. <laughs> but like it hit her desk and hit that little cause we had chalkboards back in the day. Yeah. And it fucking cracked the chalkboard. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Jesus. And do you remember y'all remember uh Danny Turner? Yeah. Yes. He fucking snitched on me, that whole ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> I was just like who, no, it was Danny Davis. Danny did because she okay. was like, Danny, who did it? And I was, he was like, Oh, I don't know, but looked right at me. I'm not sure who did it. She was like, Was it Zeke? And I was like, Nah, it couldn't have been me. I only got one hand. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you use that in school? 
honestly never because they already knew I was right handed. Oh so, damn! Oh man, I, I would I would use the chess thing to get out of like doing certain things like color wars. I fucking hated color wars. That shit was so lame. The whole color wars. Col- you never you never did color wars. I you went, remember color wars? I went to a private school for middle school. But you graduated high. from fucking uh, Somerville. Yeah, yeah, but he only went to the high school. Yeah, yeah so we did we didn't do it in high school. We did. We, no, we no. only did it in. Uh, Elementary and junior high, I think. Oh uh, well, anyway, color wars is whenever like you draw. Was it like you draw a color? Yeah, you draw a color, and then like you get mixed up with other people in your classes and stuff. So, and I think it was by grade, wasn't it? I can't remember. So uh, I want to say it was by grade, and you, you you draw a color, and then you make groups based on the color you drew. They'd give you the shirt. So you get a colored shirt for your color. Yeah. And basically it was like the last day of the year or whatever. And um you'd all go do like, you know, activities together as a group and you oh, s- so they created gangs. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. yeah. And uh gangs. rivalries and shit. Yeah, yeah, realistically it was like elementary Olympics, basically. Yeah, because yeah, it was like uh tug of war, like free throw oh, competitions. Love color wars. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I didn't know it was called that. Well, that's what like, they called it over here. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, Color Wars is cool. I yeah, like it. It was fun. Color Wars. I used my chest to get out of that shit one time. Because they were like, Zeke, uh, you're going to go first in all the events. And I hated having fucking attention on me at the time. Like, I was such a little pussy. Right. And they were like, you're going to start the free throw competition off. And I was like, oh, this is the big one. And they were like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sit out. <laughs> no, like, oh, this yeah. is the big one. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Georgia, I'm coming, I'm coming home. home. <laughs> I see the light. Should I go in it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I only used it one time. That was like the sixth grade. And they're like, your first year of junior high, you don't want to participate? I was like, I can't. Ooh, need a nice pack. I'm flustered. <laughs> like, I'm feeling flush. I can yeah. only breathe with one lung. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, I only did that shit one time. Damn. Oh, you remember Coach Eblin, the, the gym teacher and shit? No. Nah. The oh, uh, Beasy maybe the dude with like the gray hair. He had like solid gray hair. He looked like he was, oh. he was, he was a white dude, so he could have been anywhere from twenty four to seventy six. You know. Yeah, I think I'm remembering. Yeah, well, it was him and his wife, and they told us one time not to. Uh, they were like, "Hey, here's the dodgeballs, here's the kickball, blah 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 blah, and all this shit." And they were like, "Here's the volleyballs. They're brand new. Don't kick these volleyballs." And the first thing I did, <laughs> I kicked one of those, and it got stuck in the fucking, you know, the, the basketball <laughs> thing, whatever. The Raptors? Yeah, no, yeah. no, it was the uh, the courts that the little, the goals that went up that would fold oh, up, whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah, and it got caught up in one of those, and he looks at it, and he was like, uh, he was like, he was about to get into my ass, and I grabbed my chest, and he was like, nah, uh <laughs> You fucking bastard. <laughs> He already knew what was gonna happen. Yeah. On my chest. I was like, oh my chest hurt. Cause like my foot was in the air. Like when he turned around, there's no getting out of it. <laughs> he fucking <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, God <laughs> damn, Brian, you good, son? Oh. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> he said, I almost threw up. <laughs> Fuck oh, my shit. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what's crazy? The fucking dodgeballs that we had back in the day are not dodgeballs for the kids now. Over in these what are they, days, what do they use now? They're they're kickballs. A little, a little bit of kickballs. <clears throat> oh no, the dodgeballs that we use are kickballs now, and the the little dodgeballs are their dodgeballs. Oh, the little like foamy ones. Oh, oh it was the foamy ones. Yeah, See, remember you remember how the little ones boy used to fuck people up with them little mm. bitty ones. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> See, all I, I can still re- remember hearing the ping when someone See, got hit. I can't remember those. All I can remember are the fucking soft ones. They were these like fucking. They're pretty much foam. No, you know, we with, never had with, that. With, like, no, we never had that. With like a cloth over it, and mm-hmm. that's what I'm remembering. Because all I remember is the the ping, ping, yeah. ping, ping, yeah. ping, ping, ping. No, ping. so we had the. Uh, <laughs> 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 the opportunity arose, and he took it. Uh, no, we had those ones. I remember I was telling you all that story. How like I think it was a uh, Mark Morales or somebody or Lil Red. They threw a. Uh, uh, they threw that fucking little bitty dodgeball at that girl, and she had to wear an eye patch for like six months. God so damn! So he like tore her cornea and all kind of shit. Like, oh shit! Yeah, like he they fucking. Fucked her shit up. <laughs> I mean, he was like from me to Brian. 
he like leaned back because they like you know when they grab the ball, you got to run yeah. up and grab the ball. So she grabbed the ball and turned around to get ready to throw it. And Lil Ray was ready. He said, "Whoom, bink!" <laughs> he said, <laughs> "Not that today." That bitch just feet flew up in the air. She fucking like landed on her shoulder and shit. They're like her eyes started bleeding. It was all red. <clears throat> and, like the game shit. kept going on. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's how you did it. Okay, I think it was like uh, our friend Key Amber. She grabbed her and like drug her off the court like a fucking <laughs> like like a body at Normandy and shit. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta move. These ain't the rules. <laughs> she got pinged Medic. in the face. <laughs> oh hell no, no, because like nowadays they have the little like I guess what foamy ones that you're talking about that feels like a paper thing over it. Little bitch balls, and it's like literally like just it barely does anything to you bro i remember we used to look for the deflated ones because you can get like a really good grip on yeah, it that's, that's, oh, what, yeah. that's what he hit her with yeah yeah it was yeah. a small one that was like kind of like low on air yeah and he whoom, and he fucking yeah. did you get <laughs> you could wrap your hand around that hoe and, and just doom. fucking launch the shit out of it there was always that one guy who was like you thought or the guy or girl who you thought was going to be like a professional dodgeball player right like the one who could like think like knock fucking balls down with like right. while holding it shit like or throwing, catching them and yeah, all that. Yeah, catching them and yeah. throwing it under his leg. And you're like, God damn, that guy's going to go somewhere. And then he ends up being like a local meth head or some shit. God damn. <laughs> like, He's like, still out there throwing shit. Hell yeah. his legs. <laughs> I miss dodgeball. Dodgeball was a good game. Like, okay, that it makes sense that that's a professional sport. Like, I don't know if it's in the Olympics or anything. Right. But like, you know what's wild is that there's like professional pillow fighters. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I did not know that was a thing. There's also a professional uh, slap boxing, too. Oh, no, no, that's legit. Yeah, that's yeah, legit. No. Uh, especially the midget slap boxing. But, um. Hey, it's a little people. No, fucking midgets. Or midgets, dog. <laughs> We're and, talking about the proper vernacular here. Midgets. <laughs> and, um. Uh, professional tag players. Oh, yeah, I've seen the tag players. There's a professional, um, free stack, too. For real? So, you know yeah. what? I, you know what I want to watch? What's up? The fucking 6v6, six six, uh, UFC fights. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Six versus six? Six versus six fucking uh, MMA fights. What Jesus Christ. How intense that shit would be? I think even like three on three would be fucking dude, the, Yeah, insane. Dude, like the, the ring is like monstrous. And they just they just ring the bell. The motherfuckers just it's on site. So it's like basically like a Royal Rumble? Yeah, but like where it's like real. Right. Yeah, like motherfuckers get laid out. God But damn. like. Is it like on teams or is it just like every man yeah, for like, himself? Yeah, so like like one there'll be some will be wearing yellow trunks and the other wearing oh, red. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I okay. thought it would be like uh, every man for himself. That would have been badass. That, that would be fucking brutal as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, just, da, da, just... Have y'all seen the uh, what is it? They 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 play chess and then they box or something like that. No. no. Oh yeah, I've heard or about something that. Something like that. Yeah. 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 They 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 like go around to boxing. And then they do like a like a couple moves of chess or something like that. It's like you're going back and forth, back and forth, and so it's like trying to, you know, go from, you know, using your adrenaline to swapping back over and trying to do like it's critical to thinking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I, I feel I don't know for a fact, but I feel like that's a Russian thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it feels like some 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 far eastern European shit or whatever. I know in all right, blood. was it either it's Brazil or either Brazil or Chile. Um, Chile, 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 whatever. cabron, Chile. Um, even Brian could say it right. One of the one of the two Chile. countries. Um, they have a sport and it's televised. But you know that game that you play, like don't let the balloon touch the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they have. Hmm. Like it's a real fucking a, sport. But is is that the one where it's like <clears throat> over a net? No, this one is like the one that I watched was they have literally they have cars. Uh, well, they've got different setups. Like one was like a street setup, so you got like mailboxes, stop signs, a car, and whatnot. And so you got to it's like one versus one person on another team, and and you, and you're going back and forth, and whoever lets the balloon drop, they lose, and then you swap out teammates, and then it starts over again. That was dope. Right. But like one will be like a living room setup, so there's like a couch, and like pretty much like this room right yeah, here will yeah, be in yeah. there. And so they got to work around that shit. That shit is dope. Hmm. I mean, because we used to play that as a kid. Like, yeah, it's you know? fun shit. Do you know what other game I saw? I think it's in the Olympics, actually. Uh, it's So it's like foosball, but with like a real soccer. 
a soccer ball and like not foosball, uh, table tennis, the fucking uh, ping pong, whatever. Oh, okay. But they they like you can use your feet and your hands. You can do everything but use your hands. I mean, uh, so your head, feet, knees, all that shit. And like these motherfuckers, like when they serve, like I think you have to start with like a head serve. Oh shit! Yeah, it's crazy. And like like they'll go back and forth like volleying for like two three minutes. Hmm. I don't remember what the hell the name of the game was called. Like hacky sack with table tennis. The hell is that shit called? Uh. I don't even know how to word that shit. Hacky sack with table or, No, soccer, ping pong, I guess. I don't know what the fuck it is. I love ping pong. Ping pong's fun. <clears throat> ping pong gets fucking in tunes. Tech ball. Tech ball? Yeah. Hmm. God because, damn. What's up? Those tables are three grand. Oh, shit. Holy shit. That's fucking wild. Wait, do we have any place that does uh, ping pong? Uh, uh, they may have, like at Poets, they may have one of those like multi tables where you can play like foosball, ping pong, and like air hockey or something like oh, that. Oh, dude, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, I think Grand Station might. No, we were just there Friday night. They didn't have anything. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. How was the ice skating ring? Just throw some elbows like in hockey? No. Nah. Yeah. Oh, the dude's from <clears throat> Steppenwolf. The guy who lives at the lake. Oh. Steppenwolf. Oh. Yeah. I don't know who they are. I don't even know what songs they have. What songs does Steppenwolf have? Is, are they the ones who, I believe in a thing called love? No, that's... No, uh, that's... Uh, the Darkness. Steppenwolf have... Oh, Born to be Wild. Uh. Oh, Born to be Wild. Yep, that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, That's shit. the guy that lives out at the lake? Yeah. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell you the whole, what, what happened after. Or, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what happened after. We Let's tell him to get on the podcast. I mean, I doubt he'd want to, but oh, yeah. <laughs> we can try. That would be pretty cool. Right? Like, hey, dude, that one song you have is fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, random question. What's up? Random. Very random. If the cartel offered you 10 mil to stuff drugs in your ass to to be a mule one time, <clears throat> would you do it? Yeah. The chances of you getting caught are up in the air. It's, there's no guarantee you won't get caught. 10 mil? 10 mil? All you got to do is shove like 60 bags of fucking horse 60 bags? Ass. I thought it was just one. No. Oh, hell you're no. You're a mule, fool. Uh-uh. No, you're, you're, yeah, you are packing yourself. Oh, yeah. To the hell. fucking uh-huh. brim. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I thought you meant one. I was like, well, no. yeah, I'll do it. It's not like, uh, like like a fucking pencil eraser up your ass. No, like they're jamming you. Oh, hell no. That's how no, they get so that. many drugs across the fucking border. Yeah. Mm. What was it? That episode of uh, Shameless? Oh, yeah. Where he gets put into Mexico. <laughs> and then he comes back and they're like, he broke the record. He has like 11 packs of Coke up his ass. <laughs> and then he gets back home and he shits out. He goes, number 12. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh-uh. I know I saw on a, a TV show, and it was uh, one of the uh, Sherlock Holmes shows. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how true it is, but I want to say it might be like, might have some uh, validity to it, maybe. Um, was uh, basically people were getting surgeries in other countries because it was like cheaper or whatever yeah and then um they were being used as mules jesus so they would get you know sliced open and they would get drugs put in them and then you know they'd have a follow-up with a doctor stateside after their surgery who'd go in cut them open and and pull the drugs out interesting yeah you know what's even more interesting is that uh, when doctors put your organs back in, they don't put it in the right space, but your body moves it to where it should be. That's fucking dope. That's fucking yeah, dope. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because the body will adapt. Yeah. 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 I was like, what the fuck? That's interesting. But y'all didn't answer. Uh, uh, would y'all be meals for that much money? Okay. No. What, what's, a, what's a reasonable amount of baggies? Like, obviously, 60 is too much. Yeah. So, like, uh, I, I, 10. I, I, I don't because I've, I've, I've heard the horror stories 
So where that one dude fucking swallowed that bag of coke and it fucking <laughs> yeah well yeah the the bags burst and yeah they fucking od right I mean so that's just not your problem anymore one is just enough yeah, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not trying to pull up Pablo Escobar <laughs> that's so, what I'm saying yeah you know because I don't I don't want to be fucking you know fucking going ape shit and then fucking but yeah imagine having like a massive go, heart yeah, imagine going out that way you're just like ah! <laughs> like, <he's> fucking, <laughs> like everywhere you look you just got like mad tracers and shit because your fucking heart goes so fast <laughs> it's literally all a giant you blur start killing everything and, everywhere not even that i mean you wouldn't even have the wherewithal to do anything you'd just be freaking the fuck out and then all of a sudden you just kill over <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden you're just dead start foaming at the mouth foaming out the ears everything you just fucking your body would die hell no yeah no they're, they're... then it's not your problem anymore <laughs> By the way, I'm not showing up to work tomorrow. Fuck. That's all you're worried yep. about is coming into work. Yeah, but your family ain't getting the money then. Yeah. Because remember, that money is on arrival. Yeah. yeah. And I got life insurance. So I'm just not, saying. Yeah, know. but if I don't you, know if life insurance, because during the autopsy, yeah. when they find all the fucking. It's got to be a natural cause or something like that. It, yeah. it, especially if you're doing something illegal. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to pay out. Yeah, they're not going to pay for your life insurance. No, Google. I guarantee you, they won't pay out, dude. If call your call your life insurance company. Okay, and first ask, I'm not going to call <laughs> my life. Insurance. If I were to ask, die from smuggling drugs up my ass, <laughs> was are my family covered? Hold on, I'll be right back on that one. Whoa! Get Crystal to call him. <laughs> be like, hey, if my uh, husband. Decides to smuggle a bunch of drugs and Allegedly. he dies from it. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you that won't cover. There's no yeah, fucking way. No, there's no fucking way. Ron, I feel like this will be a perfect time for you to call a life life insurance. I got See, life insurance. The problem is, is he has no ass to stuff it in. So yeah, you know, I got I I got no ass. It's all gonna slip out. Yeah. Like a fucking, his ass gonna look like a Pez dispenser, just fucking <laughs> dropping packages all over the place and shit. Mm. Or it'd be easy. Yeah, Poor but guy. no, I wouldn't. I don't. I, there's no fucking way in hell. Uh, no. I'll probably do one, but like if it's like more than one, hell no. Like that, that shit is scary. Like I think even like running drugs, like in a vehicle with with it just in your vehicle. Oh hell no. Yeah, no. That's that's. I feel like well, they're both equally dangerous, but I mean, dude, nah. I, I can't even imagine someone try to rob robbing a bank. Nowadays, right? That's such yeah. a stupid thing to do with the, the the security that they have. Right? Like it's yeah. Like I get doing it if you're a uh, if you're like a cyber robber, but like an actual robber, robber, holy fuck! Yeah. yeah, like doing like the physical act of like having a gun, right? Holding someone, yeah, that's fucking bananas. Because I feel like you can probably get that get away with it with like smaller and yeah, older like a, towns. Like I'm not like condoning it, but like a gas station would probably be my first route if i'm gonna fucking rob somebody right yeah because they're like it's a gas station like you're, you're not gonna get away with like that a, much a shit ton of money right yeah that's why they usually say give me the register because there's like <laughs> 300 bucks in there like then like, you're not gonna walk out of there with a shit ton oh, of cash yeah, no. no probably gonna run out with what like 250 yeah that's that. yeah, yeah like, i know at uh um Sefco. Su yeah sefco subway um they told us not to keep more than like a hundred in the register. Yeah. Damn. So like if you had more than a hundred, you had to take that extra. Throw it in the know, safe. Yeah, and throw it in the safe. Hmm. So you know the code of the safe? Oh, they've changed it. Yeah, that oh, okay. those, well, those plus codes, that subway's gone, so Yeah. Yeah, oh, those yeah, yeah, those those codes change like Yeah. Continuously. Is, yeah, yeah. Like it's just a Yeah, I I wanna say like pro at least twice a year. Yeah. And if they if there's like suspicious activity, they'll change it again. Because mm -hmm. that happened over there at uh at Enterprise when I was working over there. Like he would uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't even remember the dude's fucking name. Is this the one that you're telling us that, that did coke? No, no, or meth or whatever. No. Uh, Jure, the the branch manager. He was a uh, no. That was a, that was at ISP. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jure, they've had so many jobs, but yeah, he would <laughs> he would tell us he was like, hey, just a heads up, got to change the code again. Blah blah blah, corporate something suspicious, like su suspicious activity, and they would like ch he changed it like fucking fifteen twenty times a year. Damn. Yeah, or he wouldn't do it. It would he would like try to change it or like open it and it would be locked. It wouldn't open on him, so he'd have to call corporate and they'd be like, mm. "Here's the new code." So, 
Right. No, yeah. it makes sense. Not not to mention like the safe we had, it was <clears throat> on a timer. Oh yeah. So what it is is you punch in the code and you have to wait five minutes or you know, like three to five minutes, whatever it was, and then you punch it in again and then you can open the safe. So Yeah, the one enterprise was fifteen minutes. It was yeah. something like a crazy long time you gotta wait. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So Damn. It's a long fucking time, man. Like, yeah. and what's crazy is like there wasn't even like, like any, any even money in there. Like, these are just keys to vehicles and shit. Yeah, the so fuck? so it looks like it's like a lock box, and there's yeah. like a circle on there with like little things you punch, and there's a big ass like lever handle. Yeah, and like we'd have to like punch in the code, whatever it may be, zero 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 zero, and like wait fifteen minutes, same thing, repeat it, and then you have to unlock it, and then you have to punch the code in again because if you try to open it, the alarm will go off. Oh, she shit. She had to punch it in like three times. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Wild shit, my boy. Wild shit. That is crazy. Shit. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, they go through all, especially because like they're, like Enterprise is huge. They're everywhere. They're nationwide. Right. So they're fucking, you know, they got money coming in left and right. Mm-hmm. Same with like Hertz. What's Hertz? Uh, just another, like basically like the. Rental place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like their competition. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The rivals. Yeah, basically. Oh, did we uh, did I did we talk about or did I bring up uh Ethan like fat shaming you? No. Yeah, I did. Yeah, on the group chat, not not. No, on he here. did it on the podcast. Did I on um, last week? Yeah, it was that last week or? Week oh no, we, ta- I, we I called him. I called him. <laughs> called him fat. Yeah, but now he in the Discord. He was like, "Fuck." He was like, "I am getting big. I'm like 222 pounds now, Damn. which is way bigger than where I, where I ever wanted to be." So he fat shamed his big ass into getting into the gym. Hey. Damn. Hell yeah. Well, I can shame him like this. He who weighs more than me. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah! You hear that, you big husky bitch? Hey, by three pounds, but still. There you go. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's about my weight, about two twenty something. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all weigh exactly a hundred pounds more than I do. <laughs> nice. Well, no shit. <laughs> Titty having ass bitches. Hey, I'm working on it. Even when you lose the weight, Titty's gonna still be there. No. Huh? I lost the weight d- d- before, and I didn't have the Depends titties. on what you work on. Right. Yeah. And if you work on your chest, then they'll be gone. Mm. If you just slim down, like, drastically, like those oh, fucking... Oh, yeah. If it's, if it's, like, drastic Oh, yeah. Change, yeah, you're still going to yeah, have he's going to have some flab. Mm. But... Yeah, because... But I, honestly, he was never really that, that big to where he's going to have excess. What was your biggest? My biggest? Yeah. I want to say, like, 300. For real? Like... Damn near 300. Damn, I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. I guess because we see you so often that we didn't really right. pay attention. I, th- I want to say like my biggest was probably about like 260. Dude, yeah, you got big at one point. I yeah. remember like you like you could see it in your face. You were like. Yeah. Yeah. My biggest was 130. <laughs> Damn, that's. Fa- nah, I'm sure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm obese. <laughs> Damn. No. Uh, even at 130, you'd be considered anorexic. Well, yeah. I'd still be considered underweight because it's yeah. supposed to be like 140 or some shit like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm trying to get to 200, but my main goal is like around like 160, 170, somewhere around there. I think 200 might, might suit you well. Mm. As long as you keep it bulky. Yeah, keep it tight. Keep it right then. Get it right. Get it tight. Or however much you lose, whatever whatever your goal is. Right. If you start looking sickly, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I honestly don't give a shit how much I weigh, because uh, I don't even weigh myself. I'm, these are just from whenever I go to the doctor, right? But uh, as long as I, um, as long as I'm healthy, that's all I give a shit about. Yeah, because it's crazy. Like those sumo wrestlers are in better shape than all of us combined. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. they, the it's it's the way that they pack up the weight. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why. They, 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 they exercise, so but they also yeah. have high fucking carbs, <laughs> calorie diets. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a lot. Yeah, hell yeah, big bitches. Hell yeah. Oh, one last thing before we dip out. What's up? That, remember that lady we talked about who was like selling farts in mason jars and shit? Yeah. Uh-huh. And how she had to like retire from that, I guess, occupation, or whatever. She's back at it again. Worse. Uh oh. So the lady who sold farts is now selling her own shit. Oh, Aww. dude. I figured you were about to say that. I, it was, I figured it was either going to be urine or shit. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking urine. Because I, I mean, like, what, what's what's the next logical step? You know, piss or shit, right? Because right. that's normal in that world. 
But yeah, so apparently what she does is before she wipes, she takes a little cotton ball, presses it on her ass, puts it in a fucking little like a uh, a uh, uh, what's it called vial? Yeah. With a handwritten note. And then sends it off to whoever buys it. Who the fuck is buying all this shit? A lot of people. Literally. Who's what buying is this shit? Disgusting. Like oh, I, I come like on. I can understand some pussy juice. <laughs> like, like, like that that's one thing like you know she just kind of gets a right. test tube or whatever and sends it off but fucking know. like but yeah like shit that uh, is disgusting and are we are we that desperate now nowadays God a damn. lot of people are and we have much lower morals yeah you know than we did five years ago our, our standards are just dropping oh yeah Oh, I'm trying to look it up. I don't think this is true, dog. No, nope, uh, it was on that. Uh, hold on, see if I can find it, and I'll play it on. Uh, old boy from Barstool talked about it. Oh man! And oh. there's a there's a video, not like of her actually doing it, but right, like, explaining it and all that. Yeah. Where is it? At? Y'all are some fucking degenerates. Yeah. If you're buying this shit, literally, you, <laughs> you need to rethink your life. I hope yeah. this girl's pretty, because I mean, like, uh, uh, if she I mean, ain't, uh, why would you? Like, Tinder's a thing. For real. Like, go outside. You might meet somebody. Yeah. I, I mean, un- unless you're looking like dude from fucking Mask. Um, yeah. What was the name? Who, Jim Carrey? No. No, no. Mask. The, the one with the elephant face yeah. whatever the fuck it was yeah um rocky dennis yeah yeah oh i'll show you a picture you'll see it and you'll be like what the fuck god damn it's an old movie oh, okay i thought you were talking about the mask like jim carrey i was like oh okay no 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 no. it's a great movie by the way hell yeah sorry listeners i'm I'm not ignoring ever anyone i'm just trying to uh find this video just fucking gross i think she was she was a tiktoker right selling farts i think so i I know she was an e-girl probably it was either tiktok or um some shit because everybody every girl who's like an e-girl got it all from this one girl named bella thorne no not bella thorne bella i forget her name it starts with a b and she was doing some wild ass shit, like playing with octopuses and all that stuff. And then she'll be selling her bath water. To yeah, people. I remember. I remember yeah. that girl. Yeah, and that's where it all started. Hold on, let me get this girl's name, Stephanie. Mo- yeah, Stephanie Motto. Oh, that guy. Hey, oh. Yeah, if you're looking like that, then yeah. But even then, like, if you have the confidence. Yeah, true. That's it, buddy. And a big hog. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it. I don't know. People are fucking degenerates now. Yeah, you can't lie. Damn, I can't find it. No? But yeah, there was. he did a video on it, and it's like her with like a little cotton ball, and she was like, this is how I do it. And then he shows like the, pro- the end product of it. Oh. There's like a little shit stain on the cotton and stuff. Oh, I mean, I no. guess that's better than just shitting into a, a jar and yeah, but still, I mean, like, what you, the fuck? Why are, why are you buying someone's shit? Yeah, why that are you is pretty... first of all? Why are you selling shit? Yeah, like how it's, low in your life are you buying shit? Pretty low. I mean, the supply and demand, though, <laughs> for real. I'm I mean, it's hey, there. get your fucking money, but still, that's gross. That is fucking gross. That is purely gross. Navar, are you buying someone's shit? Hell no. Come on. Would you like Crystal sell hers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if people are willing to buy it. Apparently a lot. A lot. I mean, you find the right market for it. There's a market for anything. Yeah. Shit, I thought about selling my feet. Do it. Like feet picks. I got you, son. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> hey, by the way, life insurance will pay out of accidental drug overdose. Accidental. Yeah, but here's the thing. is It's an accidental overdose. If you get busted... With fucking sixteen bags of coke in your system, that's illegal. You're 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 transporting drugs across a border. 
Well, I guess technically that could be accidental because he didn't you want to take the drugs. Yeah, there you go. No, he. I mean, he's. You don't accidentally shove sixteen bags no, of no, coke no, up your ass. But if the bags burst, that's when it becomes accidental. But it's, it's still an illegal act. You're you're in the act of transporting drugs across a border. Mm. It doesn't matter whether it's ac- it doesn't matter whether it's an accident or not. You were still doing something illegal in the process of right. you dying. Well, he could always say oh. he can't say nothing. Well, he could be like, oh, I was partying over here in Florida, Tijuana, Tijuana and, uh, you know, someone slipped me some Mexican water. I passed out. He's from- not going <laughs> to say it. He won't be saying shit. He's dead. <laughs> so he ain't lying. that's the thing is like, they're going to look at that and be like, hey, it doesn't matter. He was transporting drugs illegally. He died. Yes, it was an accidental overdose, but he was still in the, in the process of committing a, a, a felony. Well, fuck it. Let's let's make an insurance where we do cover that. Ah, uh, risky activities that are not highly not covered: scuba diving, base jumping, which that's all in caps, hang gliding, auto racing, aviation, rock mountain climbing. Of course, that's not going to be on the list. They, they don't. I don't think they're going to fucking insure someone who's willing to fucking shove sixteen bags of coke up their ass. That's not going to make the list. You might have to call them. Can, let, let's let me just get a life insurance company on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we're but, well, it's probably all, closed. All, yeah, because it's like night. In all realness, yeah, they're probably not going to cover it at all. In all realness, oh, not even that. But Crystal just almost activated our life insurance policy. <laughs> Dope. She choked on a chocolate covered strawberry. And just vomited all over the kitchen. So just right now, just like literally, just right now. Jesus Christ! She sent me a message saying I'm choking, and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I walked in there, and her eyes are all bloodshot red, and her and she's just like, "Uh," and I'm like, "What the fuck happened?" She was like, "I told you I was choking." I thought, "Oh, you know, something's caught in your throat. You're just hack. You know, you just start coughing, and you're like, I'm choking, right? But really, you're not choking. It's just like hung up back there. No, she was like legit dying, choking." Yeah. joking. Did you find an insurance agency that was open? They're open? Well, they probably have like a 24-7. I know. We're going to fucking get a representative. We're talking to somebody. This might be loud. Let me lower it real quick. Our office is currently closed. Fuck you. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be on the call. Dude. <laughs> so I was going to be listening to the tapes. <laughs> Our office. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, I need to right. simple that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's too late. All you're going to yeah. do is robots. Yeah. It's fucking. What time is it now? Fucking eleven thirty. Yeah, that's whack. That's hilarious. I'll cut it out to the point where it's just saying like, <laughs> our offices are currently closed. Fuck you, <laughs> Yo Navar. Hmm. Uh, what's what here? What's I'm gonna, I'll edit it out. What's the name of your ins- life insurance company? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. It's through work. No. Oh, all right. Well, how about this? What we gotta figure out what time they close and then we'll we'll come we'll do call. Yeah. <laughs> well, what we should do is we should call them like sometime during the middle of the week. Why don't like, we call Brian's. Like early. Like early, early. So that way we know they're open and then I'll just insert it. Oh, okay. Because we'll see if we'll see. Mm-hmm. So we can have it recorded. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be they, actually, yes. Like what the fuck word? All right, we already get out of here. That was fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, hoes. If you know, if you have any, uh, you know, information. If you work in life insurance, let yeah, us know. If you have any, if you have any fucking information about whether or not uh, uh, dying with sixteen bags of cocaine in your system will be covered, please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who, who do we know who works? Do we know someone who works with like insurance? My mom. Right? Doesn't she do that or no? Mm. Not exactly, really, but no, she, not like really. she, she, mo- she mostly just does a uh, uh, see if anyone qualifies for um, some type of uh, emergency uh, Medicaid. Should we call a hospital? Maybe. No, no, they won't deal with it. No, we're yeah. in an insurance adjuster. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your mom might know. She, yeah, she might. Yeah, she Honestly, might know. She yeah. might, but it's. Eh. You know what the easiest is? Just find one that's open. And just call them. Go to like an all state. They're like, we don't even deal with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're auto insurance. <laughs> well, uh, we you know, cover it if I'm transporting coke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> will you get into a wreck? Will you insure me? <laughs> I wonder how quick they're going to hang up the phone. Just like, 
<laughs> uh, I mean, we got to do that in, like in person so we can get kicked out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Don't ever come back. You know who might know? Who? No balls. No balls? Yeah. Do you, does she still have his number? I have no clue. Ask him. Who's no that. balls? We can't uh, say it online? Uh, online that, no, that's here? what we called him. We never knew his name. Oh, okay. yeah, I, I can't remember his real name, but yeah, we called him no balls because- He had no balls. He had no balls. Like he literally had no balls? No, he or? was just a weak bitch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was an emasculated man. Mm-hmm. Literally. Yeah, he was a little- his little fucking dick squeeze. Damn. Yeah, but anyway, he was trash. And... So she's definitely strapping. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. His asshole sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll di- oh, I know what I'll do. I'll reach out to mm. someone on Reddit. Oh, yeah. Reddit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Reddit's perfect. I'll, we, we don't have to call him. I'll just ask him. Yeah. So that way I can just, you know, that way we can relay the message on here and shit. Hell yeah. Let's do it. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive. If you're transporting drugs illegally and you fucking I mean, overdose. Technically, that's not your family's fault if they don't know what's going on. But yeah. it's your fault, but you were engaging in those activities. Mm. That's the thing. Let's go to Reddit. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go, we'll go to Reddit or we'll find... I'll fucking... I, I, I think it might be up to the company because, yeah. I mean, they, me they might be hesitant, but if, if Crystal, like, dresses the kids up in, like, burlap sacks and, like, ratty shoes... Jesus Christ. And then, you know, like, I mean, realistically, all they have to do is take one look at their cars and be like, okay, yeah, they're fucking poor as shit. I'm they need you, this fucking money. Right now, if I was a business owner and one of my employees was found with 16 bags of coke in his stomach and his heart was in a zillion pieces, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> well, honestly, yeah, I'd, I'd probably do the same if I was at the insurance company. I'd be like, yeah, like, no, even he if, Even on. if you wanted us to to cover this, we cannot cover this. Mm. Like, that is insane. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, if one of us dies with 16 uh little packets of coke in our system that's some g shit right there <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna cover it yeah no well brian will cover it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to the va they're like what the fuck he wasn't even a veteran <laughs> well we can say he's a veteran i walk with a limp son I mean, you're dead already. Like I'm, a, I'm a veteran to these streets. Suwushi, suwushi, son. <laughs> Bitch, they call me suwushi for a reason. Suwushi. Nah, I'm saying. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. It's yeah. getting All right. late. All right, hold. That was episode two. What the fuck was it? Two seventeen. Two seventeen. I don't remember. Something Bro. like that. I'm that pretty out. sure it's like between two seventeen to eighteen and two nineteen. Two seventeen. Okay. Episode two seventeen. We'll catch you, bitch asses, next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.